You are the most beautiful woman in the galaxy. Drowning. Hello, Waka. Hello, Henry Boy Productions. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing tonight? And hello, Butt. Congrats on grabbing that first. Uh, Waka says, I'm already milking. I'm just going to completely ignore that comment because it's uh, utterly meaningless when I haven't even started playing the game yet. Banana. Good. That's good. I have proof. Bananas, well, bananas are okay. I don't know if they're good, but they're, they're, they're okay. Bananas aren't bad. Uh, what's up, everyone? Jonan asks, are there two new frogs and a mushroom person? No. Well, Toad, the mushroom person, Toad, from Super Mario, whatever, has been there for, like, most of the year, I think. Um, Waka, the frog with the sword, has been there since Chrono Trigger. And that's the last one that I added. Mushroom person sounds like a frog, according to Feb Rungo. His name is Toad. Is, which is which is a, which is like a frog, banana bread. Okay, now that is good. I can approve of banana bread, Henry boy. Hey, I hope everyone's Sunday went well. It means you have to pay attention. No, it doesn't mean you have to pay attention. You listen. First of all, you never have to pay attention to anything that I say or do. Second of all, it just means that you uh, weren't looking at the intro screen, which is totally fine. Also, what's up, patches? Code is the Luigi of characters. It's true. And Luigi is the Mario of Luigi's, if you really think about it. Um, boy. <laughs> I said he sounds like a frog. To what, Toad? I don't remember ever saying that, actually. So I, unless you can provide a timestamp and or clip, I'm going to say that's a lie. He sounds like me, me, which I don't think that's, I don't think frogs sound like that. Literally starting stream with base building? Okay. Baka. Do you see any building? Where's the building? There is no building. I am just in the in the hub. That's it. Okay. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna engage with this kind of uh, bait. Not today. No 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 no. We have too much important stuff to do. Apparently I can't get my super weapon that I unlocked yesterday from this guy yet, which is a shame. Thought I'd be able to do it right away. Maybe if I leave and come back in, I can get it from him. I'm gonna check that. Um, yesterday we collected our fifth soul, and we got all the way up to the boss fight for the sixth soul, which is what we're gonna be starting the day with. Uh, we also ran around and unlocked some kind of like uh, super arrow weapon, which uh, the guy is. Apparently, I need to wait for some trigger before he's done uh, get making it ready for me. Other than that, I had a wonderful Sunday. I watched some Deep Space Nine. I learned some Godot. Oh, hey, look. An event. Playing Fortnite with no building? Isn't that what everybody does now? Hasn't everybody playing no build Fortnite? Has anyone else had a wonderful Sunday? Surely somebody did something interesting. This is for you, Uncle Chubby. It's a pallet vase. Who taught you how to make one of these? Is that a pallet vase? It just looks like a big circle. I asked Abacus what kind of gift you would like. He said that people of Ying have a custom of painting stories on vases. Mm. Okay. Blaze could have been applied more evenly, but for an ape man, it's passable. Oh my god. That's high praise for him. Also, what's up, Lolo? Fortnite is a building game? Yeah, Fortnite is a base building game. If you uh, build bases in Fortnite, you're milking. That's what Waka says. That's way better than what I could have managed. I was never talented in these things. Whoa. Since when did you appear? I've just been standing here listening to your conversation. You never gave me all that many gifts to begin with. So what story did you paint on this vase? It's a story about me, Uncle Chubby, and Yi living together here. Oh, It's quite adorable, I gotta say. Okay. Did I do a bad job painting you? This is the first time I've ever received a gift like- Look at my son. Look at my son give my 
chubby friend a wonderful heartfelt gift and look at him well up with tears. Fine, you sick fuck. I bought it. What's up, Nas? Aha, yes. The Nine Souls marketing team strategy is paying off. I will be my collecting my share of the paycheck any day now. How are you, Nas? Also, walk a Sunday is Monday, which is true. I think the same is true with patches, but I still hope it went well. I do hope you like it, Nas. Um... Hope you enjoy the game and that your Sunday went well. Do I? I don't have money, do I? No, not particularly. Alright, well, if the game's not gonna let me um, grab my thing, get my, get my big bomb, my big arrow upgrade, I guess I'll just go to the boss fight and see what it's like. Elb, the guy in here yesterday, said that the boss fight was not too difficult, this one. So we'll see. The last boss fight kicked my ass. It took me two hours. So I certainly would not mind an easier one. Patches defies the law of time. It's true. And the laws of space, since he's in both Dark Souls and Elden Ring. I feel like getting in bed, just continuing the... Continue the Brungo voice and Nine Souls SFX ASMR vote, please. Okay, I don't know how ASMR my voice is. I feel like my voice is somewhat grating, but... Let's go talk to my friend Joy. here. Well met, my friend. Oh, he's writing. My apologies, I'm just finishing up this last paragraph. Is it so important that you have to write it down right now? <laughs> Every story needs an ending. Okay... Is he writing the end of his own That's story or mine? That's the question. <laughs> Welcome to my humble little library, my friend. It might look dreary, but many intriguing events from the past are etched into these pillars. So Sol G is still a chronicler. What other secrets are you hiding? <laughs> Don't misunderstand. I only use these crystals for personal note keeping. Help me recall memories worth remembering. Can is a casual hobby, but look what it's become. I guess he is like a thousand years old. Cut the chatter and give it to me straight. Why have you been secretly approaching me? I want to know more about you. Like a lighthouse standing tall in the night sky, great figures like yourself will always shine with a certain splendor. A splendor not dimmed by mortality. Is he saying he wants to know how I respawn? Armored core and blood. Oh my lord, he got tall. Do perhaps as some divine prank? Age means nothing to me. He just, okay, he just grew up in front of my eyes. Holy shit. I didn't know Patches was an armored core or Bloodborne. Armored core surprises me. But you, I guess you really get around, don't you, Patches? Huh? Impossible. How long have you lived? <laughs> How could this be possible, right? I don't understand it either, even after several lifetimes. Why was I given this miracle? I have neither grand ambitions nor excessive desires. I have never coveted power, nor did I seek to bring about peace. Even on the brink of apocalypse, I did not feel the need to save everyone. Through every era, those that I have cared about always leave me behind. Ageless and immortal, that's an ability many only dream of. It's true if you're a spectator, but for me it feels more like a curse. Alas, I also lack the courage to end this curse myself. Alright. So he wants me to kill him. Most of these people I've been fighting have been wanting me to kill them, I'll be honest. <laughs> Glad their clothes came back. Yeah, their clothes their clothes grew with them, apparently. Uh, also part of his miracle. Does Igong know about this too? I don't get it. Why did you choose to join the council? The Tianhao virus, it doesn't seem to have an effect on you at all. <sighs> staying, in, staying in Penglei meant eternal loneliness, and I have endured enough loneliness. Besides, it made a promise, however meaningless, to protect this grotto for a friend. Okay. Hand over your seal, and I guarantee the grotto will not be harmed in any way. Aww. You never participate much in the council, and I'm not keen on exterminating the ancient Kunlun tribe. I need your permission. I don't want to fight. But I've never disobeyed Aww. destiny. Have you forgotten already? I have always held great confidence in the answers my divination provides. Okay. Banja. Oh, uh, the divination says that I will die by their hand today. 
But I can always die and then respawn. See why this is called Fury? It's a furry game. Eh, you might want to get your eyes checked on a couple of counts there, Walker. <laughs> is that the cult of the lamb symbol on the head? It kind of looks like the cult of the lamb hat, I guess. Vaguely. Okay, let's get it. Standing before you is the deputy captain of the Fangxi Guild Elite Guard, Sojourner Ji. May the clouds part and allow truth to light to illuminate our decisive well, battle. Alright. He's cool. I guess we'll kill him. What the hell? Oh. Uh, okay, so I choose an attack that he does, I guess? Hey! Hey! Oh! Okay. Um, interesting. Am I telling you those are humans? No, the ape men are humans. The ape men are the humans. These are Solarians. Uh, let me double check my things. I don't know if I need knockback protection against this guy. I definitely don't need this on this guy. I think I'd rather have this. I don't think I need this. What's the other thing? Oh, I, right. I wanted to try this now. Um, now that I, yeah, I think that's, yeah, this actually is probably really good on this guy. All right, let's do that. Solarians. Well, it's not spelled like that, but it's pronounced like that. Yeah. Eight men. No, no, no. Eight. Eight men. As in like. Oh, oh. Those kinds of men. And yes, G Wiz. There's not Ape Man top right, you're correct. I would be an ape man in the context of this game, in the sense that I am human. Okay. What does that do? What is that doing? Oh! Oh my god, there's a black hole! Jesus Christ. Okay. What's he doing? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Oh, is that health for me? Oh, it's health for me. <laughs> okay, I gambled. I see, it's a gamble boss. Okay. Uh, fuck, fuck, okay, I'm not sure what's going on here yet. Lock it, you can't, I, we've been over this, you can't just like type milking for no reason when there is nothing remotely milking going on. <laughs> it's just a meaning, I'll take that, I'm gonna take that emote away if you're gonna misuse it, I'll be honest. Like, say milking when I'm like, you know, an hour into a boss fight and dying. Say milking when I'm doing something stupid. Say milking when I'm standing around not doing anything. But when I'm just playing the game normally, doing things, and you type milking, then I'm just gonna take the emote away. Cause you're cause you're misusing it. It doesn't mean anything anymore. You know? You're just making random shit up. Didn't even read your other comments. I have a tail. What is that what does that have to do with milking? What? Also, what's up, Ironhawk? How are you doing? We're gonna go finally playing gotcha games. Yeah, this game is a gotcha. I'm being gotcha. Fuck. Dude, come on. Dude! Ah. Uh. Okay, not doing too well on this so far. Okay. Ah. 
Fuck. Come on. Fuck me. Okay. Is Patches here? Patches was here earlier, yeah. Uh, I think Patches might still be here. What do we think, Patches? Is Patches here? Okay, phase one. Also, what's up, Nebby? How are you doing? Nice! Very nice. Oh, I see. Walker's saying I'm a monkey man because I have a tail. But... What is that? Oh. Okay. Whoa. 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 Okay. 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 Fuck. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. Fuck! I died. <laughs> Alright, Waka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not bringing your other messages and only hyperfixating on the emote milking. Uh, it was it was wrong of me. And I didn't mean to lash out at you like that. This patch is like Borderlands. Oh, good question. I always go to the left here for some reason. It's good Borderlands exists, but you haven't played it. Hmm. I'm curious, why do you say it's good that it exists? I guess just because some people like it, and it is good that things that people like exist. That's fair. I have also not played Borderlands. I don't know if I have a very high opinion of it, just from what I've seen. But maybe, maybe, you know, I need to have a more nuanced take on it. Oh my god! Oh come on! Ah! Stop dodging my shit! Okay, I'm dying. What? How is that a. Okay, heal. Fight is so easy, I should just choose the right orb every time. You know, you're, you're right. I don't- I, I haven't been paying attention even to whether I can... Like, choose the correct orb, or if it's purely RNG. I kind of just assumed it was RNG, but... What?! I do see there's icons on them, but they kind of look like they're spinning too fast. Like, when they're spinning, it looks like it's kind of hard to track what is on what icon. Also, the music kind of goes hard in this- I mean, the music goes hard in all the boss fights eventually, although I've been focusing on trying not to milk too hard. I also have been forgetting to use my arrows. <laughs> Exclamation mark boat. I should play Borderlands at some point, though. Why am I down a- did I accidentally- 
Did I just accidentally? God damn it. I did. Oh, wait. I totally can choose one, can't I? I accidentally used an Estus. I, uh, I tried to, okay, that's fine. Oh, come on. I feel like I'm getting a little bit too fancy. Also, what's the commentary? Also, what's up, Danny? How are you two doing today? Found a really cringe video you need me to watch. Really? Well, I'm in the middle of a boss fight, and I don't particularly care about cringe videos. I mean, <laughs> so I, I don't know. Maybe uh, you can link it to me in the Discord, and or if it's really important, I could do it after I'm dead. Dude. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty well, Commissar. How are you? Dude. Dude, what the fuck? It's so annoying. The timing on pairing those is like a lot weirder than it looks like it should be. Dude, how is that not a parry? Dude, that's absurd. No! How did I not? Okay. So garbage. It's important. All right, Danny. Here's my rule for the people coming here really, really asking me to watch a video, watch a video, watch a video when I'm playing the video game, okay? I'll give you 10 seconds. If I'm not amused, it's a 15 minute ban. Do you accept these turns? So when did I hate my viewers? Uh, I I don't know why you're saying that, Waka. Why I, I love all my viewers personally. Won't even pause for something important like a super cringe video. It's really cringe, guys. Sorry, that's kind of rude. I'm 1984. Yeah, it's true. Getting back into the Lord of the Rings tabletop game got the Minds of Moria box. Okay. Uh, I don't think I've heard of it, or I've definitely never played it. Are you having fun with it? Whoa. What? Oh my god. Dude, can you? <laughs> it's so annoying, actually. Okay, drop me. He's not supposed to like it, the video is bad. If I'm not gonna like it, then why would I watch it? You're not exactly... You're not making a very good case to incentivize me to watch it. Why would I watch a video that I don't like? <laughs> I 
that, I mean, l listen, I'm not trying. I'm not tra calling you out. I'm not trying to be anal about it. And I'm trying to be unfair or 1984. I just, you're just not making a very good case for it. You know, like, Brungo, watch this. You will hate it. Like, why? Why would I do that? You know what I mean? Dude, what the fuck? Okay. Fuck. I pr I press the button actually. I disagree. But that's fine. Oh my god. No! Heal No! Come on! I should be doing a lot better. This is that one bug game, but two. It is an enjoy. It is an indie Metroidvania. In that, in 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 that sense, it is inspired in some parts by Hollow Knight. Fuck me, dude. Lamal. I should just start saying yes. At this point, I should start saying yes. Yes, this is Silk Song. I got an early access copy. This is Hollow Knight Silk Song. Nobody else gets to play it. I'm the only one who's allowed to play it. This is Hollow Knight. Yes, you're correct. Yes. This is Boss Baby. A hundred percent. Thought this was Nine Souls? No, 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 wrong. This is Hollow Knight. I could understand why it would be uh, confusing to do that. Fuck! What? No! Ah. Hey, beautiful. Dude. It's a Hollow Knight. It's like a Nine Souls clone. It's a Nine Souls robot. I'm cooking. Okay, I understand now how to fight this boss. This is Hollow Knight 2 going to be timed exclusive for the PS5 Pro. Well, you weren't supposed to get this information. Dude, no way did I mess that up. Ah, how do I... How many loot damage does she go? Okay. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm gonna die. Heal? Okay. No, no fucking way. Okay, I actually... Uh, I'm trolling! Okay. 
No, all of them. Wait, does that not count for the hitbox? Red, hi, Patches. I see your red text. Thank you for the red text. I appreciate it. What the fuck is that? Okay. No. What? Stop. How is that? How did that not... Dude. Well, I really talked about it in the PlayStation event? Wait, no way. They didn't actually talk about Silk Song in the PlayStation event, right? I feel like I would have heard about it if there was literally any Silk Song news ever, because I feel like half of uh, the internet would not stop talking about it. Was there actually Silk, like real Silk Song news? What? No! Unfucking believable, but that's. Okay, sure. They're adding the sex feature they had to cut from the first game. Cut from the first game? I don't know what Hollow Knight you're playing, but my Hollow Knight copy had a ton of sex in it. I think, uh, I think you might have been playing the wrong Hollow Knight if yours was sex-free. Alright, come on. I should, okay, what if I, what if I locked in? What if I locked in, focused up, and killed this guy? How about that? What if I did that? Any takers? Okay. So remember... Un completely unfair. Oops. Damn. The worst one. Ow! I should I should just heal here. I Okay. Fine. Good. Beautiful. Deal. Okay. I'll walk in. Let's clean enough phase one. Let's figure out how the attacks work on phase two. And then kick some ass. How did that not? Whatever. Oh, bad. Ah, uh, really, really, really troll. You do that without ever getting it with some months of training. Danny, I absolutely believe in you because I believe in the best in all of my viewers. I believe that each and every one of you can be the best version of yourselves with a little bit of time, effort, and training. I think that all of you can accomplish anything that you want. You know what is getting to me? The stupid revive jade. It keeps trolling me because of how the healing from it is like a delay. And I have to, I hate having this swift descent on because it kind of sucks. 
Doesn't it? I feel like it kind of sucks. What if instead we got like... What if we took both of these off and we just put this on instead? I feel like that would be better. Less damage and all we have to do is swap out the unreliable revive and um, the like worthless dashing cooldown that I'm not using anyway. Danny is actually secretly a no-hit Souls speedrunner. I believe. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Whatever. What? Oh, that's actually good. What? Okay, fine. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. What? No, wait, really? I got hit? Oh, that's really bad. No way, is that gonna hit box? The range of that? Okay. Alright, alright, it's fine. Fun though. Dude, I keep da dashing too early on that attack. I need to calm down when that attack comes out. It's actually really easy to dodge, but I get too panicking on it. For like no reason. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing about those attacks. Um, okay. The thing about those little red things that he throws out at me that's really annoying is that when you're on the ground, your parry is directional. My, my parry is only in the direction that I'm facing. When I'm in the air, the parries are bi-directional. They so when they come up, when the, when the arrows circle back behind me, if I'm in the air, I can just parry while still facing towards him, and it's fine. But if I'm on the ground and they come back from behind me, and I try to just press parry, then I get hit anyway. I, I would need to switch to the left in order to parry it, and it's the difference of not being used to having to be having to have the right conditions met that's causing me to like just get smacked even when I press parry. Also, what's up, Cloud? How are you? Brungopolis? Didn't a movie just come out called Brungopolis? I have no idea what it's about. I don't remember them uh, giving them permission to use my name for it. Bingo? Okay. Brungle juice. Oh, that's Brungle juice. Brungle juice. I think is what it's called now. Actually.
Okay. Good. Is this not Hollow Knight 2? No, this is. This is Silk Song. I got a. I got the exclusive copy to Silk Song. I'm the only one who's allowed to play it. This is. This is Silk Song. Nobody else. Only me. Also, hi weapons. I think that was your first message today. Hope you're doing well. Dude, fuck me. Hate that attack. It's not the one I wanted to grab. I'm bad at it. Okay, never mind. If I just take it slow, I think my pro the only reason I've been taking this long is because I've been trying to go too fast. If I just take it slow and steady and be calm and reasonable. Then I'll never die. How is the parry functioning working in this? It's incredible. The game is absurdly good. I like it much more than I liked Hollow Knight on my first Hollow Knight playthrough. It's basically Sekiro more than Hollow Knight. I would I would say the Sekiro influences are stronger than the Hollow Knight influences. Space Marines 2 has a parry function? Oh my god. Everybody just wants to parry nowadays. What? Damn it. There we go. I should be using my arrows. Like that. I pressed the button, but that's okay. I think it was on cooldown, the button, so that's why it didn't work. Dude, bad. A heal? Oh, that was a tight parry. Okay, we're good. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? That's new. No, no, okay. We're going to. We're gonna heal? No fucking way, dude! Oh, fuck me! I, sh I panicked. I panicked and looked for a heal. There's no reason to look for a heal. I could have just kept going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you make the pipe to heal? Yes. I, I do smoke my medicine pipe or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's called the medicine pipe. Why is milking not removed? So that is an appropriate usage of the word milking, because I did uh, do something stupid. Now, it's still aggravating, it's still, you know, t taunting, it's still teasing, it's still rude. But it's at least an appropriate, it's at least using the emote in a way that sort of makes sense. You know what I mean? You said you were going to say it? And you did say it. You followed through. Is Brunko getting beaten by a girl? No, this is... This is a guy. This is a dude. Although, I did spend... My longest boss fight in this game was getting my ass handed to me by the chick.
What? What? Dude, that's silly. Okay, good. Not a bad way to go. Getting smothered in goth mommy's dreamscape for two hours straight? Yeah. I got destroyed. Bet someone beat this boss at some point before me? It's true. I think approximately 30% of players on Steam beat this boss already, I would I would say, so. I agree, it's very doable. Even for a gamer of my caliber. Come on. Dude. I pressed the button! Okay. I... I didn't press the button, apparently. Okay. Smoke? Did I really just... Okay, whatever. Dude. I pressed the button! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I need to hit her. Him. Sorry. No! I... Mm. Dude. Them. <sighs> I think he's explicitly gendered he. I can check his bio. Somewhere. Where is this fucker? Wait, where is this fucker? Oh, I th do I have to kill him to get his bio? No, surely he's down here somewhere. Hey, he's not. Uh, okay, never mind. I can't check the bio. G? I didn't see him there, unless I'm blind. Unless you're telling me that his uh, pronouns are G Jim. More of a 9mm gamer. Oh, uh, it's a bit more than 9mm. Not much more, but a little bit. G Quan is someone else. G Quan was the sadistic torture daddy. Who was like the heir to an old. Dynasty wanted to bring them back to their former glory. Okay. Dude, hello? Okay. okay, that'll do, I guess. No, that's not the attack I wanted. Dude. Dude! Oh! Okay. No! How are you? Get over here! You... Okay. Bad. Build more of them this time than the last time? Yes. 
Uh, well, I don't know. That wasn't the cleanest phase one, but we got through it. No way did I get in that hitbox. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Fuck me. I also was probably supposed to arrow there. Oh, I can. Ju oh, I can interrupt that with the arrow. Oh, wait, that's actually really nice. I should probably be doing that. Come on. It's just phases? Yeah. There's at least two phases. Last boss had three phases, last major boss, I mean. But uh, most of them I think only have two, so hopefully there's just two here. What? Oh, I didn't down slash properly. Trolling. There we go. Could have interrupted that too, but I think I'll save it to interrupt the other thing. Oh, I should have. It's not the button I wanted to press. I wanted to press that button here instead. What? Hey, come on. Oh, I got an arrow charge from somewhere. I don't even know where. Fuck. Yes, okay. Wait, never mind. I celebrated too early. Almost dead. That should be dead. Okay, nice. Not too bad, all things considered. Oh, nice. Gaming. How nostalgic. Your moves feel exactly like his. Oh, ooh, ooh. It appears your hexagrams have failed you. If I told you the result, would you still have tried your utmost? At least one of us got to enjoy the thrill of the unknown. Oh, great. <laughs> Good story needs an interesting twist, does it not? Of course. I was just pretending to think that I could beat you. I knew you would win the whole time. Ah, they're, they're full of shit. <coughs> Is this the end? <laughs> I've witnessed the springs of Tianshan burst forth and dry out. Oh god, he's aging. Oh, look at him go. I've seen the long shadows cast by mountains of corpses as night fell at Fangshan. I was there when the Dong Huang, Dong Huang bell rang for the first time. I walked through countless cities drowned in time. Dude, look at them go. All of it has now attained wholeness within the Tao. Like a shooting star that sears its mark between heaven and earth. Rest in peace, good sir. See, at least he died of old age. I didn't even really kill him. G's hair. Strand of hair taken from G. Its specific purpose is unclear. G's corpse never showed any signs of decay. The usual Tianhua flowers were also absent. Right. Tianhua. Crazy. Insane. And now we get his soul. Oh, right. And first we have to learn about his uh, tragic backstory. Six out of nine souls. We are officially at six out of nine souls. You can all say nice now. And it's real. 
Guardian of life, master of time, we worship you. Oh, he had a little cult at some point. What's going on here? I, Zhitong, born as a warrior, shall perish as a hero. Zhitong. I forget which one that is, but I feel like I know him. That's just him watching, I guess, all the events of history unfold. That's him watching Lear, him watching Zhitong. Or, well, my friend, the struggles and life of death no longer concern me. Finally transcended our destiny with our own hands. We are no longer mortal. Oh, did they, like, squeeze out the fucking immortal juice out of him? Is that how they became immortal? Interesting. All of it has now attained wholeness within the Tao. Nice! Seal of G. G soul seal containing the character Gui signifies insight. And now we get the character bio. Mysterious immortal being and an ancient resident of Kunlun who seems to have been present throughout all of Solarian history. Hmm. Nice. Good for him. And of course there's a robot here somehow. Donhai 1000. That sounds like the oldest model. Oh, right, it's a test model. I am the latest assistive robot capable of deep learning through conversation. Feel free to browse the database or engage me in in-depth Q&A. Oh, God. It's ChatGPT. Incorrect. That command does not exist in the database. It doesn't seem too bright. Okay, it's, it's really not that bright. Give me a status report on this region. Never mind. Why are you in G's warehouse? Keywords inform G. First month of year 3773 Turbulent Era, we installed the third iteration of the head. I wanted to put a real fish inside, but the maintenance would have been too costly. It ended up being a display instead. I wanted to fill it with water due to the whole design concept. This robot would represent the seas and mountains of Peng Le. They told me I didn't need to use its appearance to symbolize Peng Le. They kept asking me to cut features from the Shanghai 100 to make it more practical, but I didn't want it to be mass produced. Spectators innately understand that fireworks from afar always look prettier than those in your midst. Sure. I wonder how many more years I'll be able to converse with him. Hmm. What were you made to do? Shanghai is a public welfare experiment funded by the Fangxi Guild. You can look up information, play audio files, calculate mathematical equations, and make noodles. Ah, that's everything a robot needs to do. The purpose of the Shanghai 1000 shifted constantly through its 50 year development period. Currently has no clear purpose. Great. Beautiful. Also, yo, but good luck on the Phoenix Wright. An excellent ticket. Okay. Fangxi Guild. The Fangxi Guild is an international scientific organization founded by Thinker Lear. Right. They build a research complex on the island of Kunlun. The guild is home to the most advanced technology on Penglei as demonstrated in Kunlun's sustainable development zone. Right. Guild's technology has spread to every corner of the world and helped to end the century-long food and energy crisis. Lear has also been launching non-compliance movements due to each nation's lack of interest in his anti-war initiatives. Right. Same? Wait, same what? You've also been doing research and development in order to end war and food and energy crises? To transfer image assets, it is recommended that you provide 400 physical units to obtain a copy. I don't have the money! I lost my shit at some point. Did I... Oh wait, never mind. I got it anyway. <laughs> I don't think I had enough money, but I still got it. Oh, never mind, I did have the money. Oh my god. He's got an ancient record here. They're talking about me in there. 
Empty your mind. Keep on flowing. <laughs> Who's doing the English voiceover for this? Also, yo, what's up, McCall? Thank you for the Anka, please. This is a very interpretive Anka, please. <laughs> Who's got the kazoo going? You did the voiceover, Nebi? Yo, you're very talented. What is this audio? I mean, we do all share one brain cell, but what a bizarre audio track to have in here. What is this supposed to be? Is this like a combination of all of G's experiences on a record? Is this supposed to be like his own interpretive music he's been making after being alive for a hundred thousand years? Weird. Kind of cool, though. I, I dig it, honestly. That's a vibe. Hey, so where was his soul? I don't think I... Oh, I, I, I did pick up his... Did I pick up his soul? I didn't even notice. Oh, I did. Okay, my bad. I, I space out. Nice. Okay. The soul has been acquired. 69. Even more Anka pleases. Oh, what a good day. How was your Sunday, McCall? It's a shame I missed most of your Lorne stream, but I hope that you Lorned really hard. Whee! Um... Yeah, I would... kind of want to get... Well... I guess I want to work on these next, which means I need this. Even though I don't want to use it. Yeah, I want to stay on waterfall. I don't think I want to use full control. I think. I don't know. Oh, I accidentally just... Yeah, there we go. Key blast. Almost done with the game. How's my walk? Uh, it was nice. I just went on like a little 20 or 30 minute jaunt around the block in order to get out of the house before sitting it down and doing some Godot stuff with Nebby. It was, uh, it was good. It was fun. Okay, let's go. We were going to have pavilion stuff to do. Because beating a soul is almost always a trigger for, like, everybody. And then I, I kind of want, I kind of want to try to find... Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll need an, another item or another ability before I can do the next thing that I want to do. Do you believe in any gods? The village elders always told us to believe in the gods. It said doing so would make us healthy. Do you believe in gods? Kind of. It'd be nice if the gods turn out to be true. But not every question has an answer. Sure. It's not like I'll ever know if that oracle's divination was ever accurate now. We did a short walk today too. Very nice. How short are we talking, but how far did you end up going? The boy Shan Shan is using stones to tell fortunes. He must have learned it from the villagers. What a disgrace. Our village must seem like a complete joke to you people. We also do divination. Abacus was probably the one who taught him that. No, no. We can fly and create contraptions, but you still believe in these formless ideas. Faith is used to control the ignorant. You're not supposed to be that gullible. I used to ponder the same conundrum, but maybe there's a reason why faith can't be replaced. Oh. Why? Reactionary who Shenong? Shenong is supposed to be like the local village conspiracy theorist who like believed that the gods were fake and just killing everybody, and it turns out he was right because the gods were actually aliens who were keeping the humans in a pen to harvest their bodies. To be frank, I know one or two things about face reading. Would you be interested in allowing me a look? Back from the grotto, and the first thing I get to see is another fortune teller. Fine, let's hear it. You have a wide forehead, along with a thin, narrow nose, a calamitous sign. Hoarding wealth will harm you a hundredfold, whereas spending it will bring you good fortune. What a curious thing for a shopkeeper to tell me. 
I have here a collection of one-of-a-kind treasures, never to be seen again. Would you like to take a look? Sure. Looks like an alien phrenology. This is like a... The, they, their weapons that they made were like genetic modifications of people, and so he was like a super weapon that uh, turned into... that like got... his programming got broken, and now he's like a poet, scholar, who's a pacifist. You walked long enough to get about 15 minutes of sunlight before it set? Yeah, I feel that. That was roughly where I was at, too. Just Brungo. <laughs> Are you reading my face there, Waka? What does my face tell you? Oh, also, if I sell all these, I can afford... My Gecko. Not poisonous by nature, but toxins from the ants it consumes builds up within their bodies, rendering them completely inedible. Huge. Let me go see if my arrows are ready with uh, Quafu yet. Did say it, but I would cry. No, go ahead. I won't cry, Walk. I have a very thick skin. Sir. You got G's soul seal. Did you ever figure out what he was? It's always a mystery to me how someone so little could sound like a living antique. You've actually met G. Oh. You read my fortune and said I would spend the rest of my life away from my hometown. He even invited me to the Grotto of Scriptures, saying he wanted to show me a secret no one's ever seen before. Everyone knows the grotto's biggest secret is the Grave of Lear, which no one can seem to find. I think I already found that. Who would ever want to step foot in those catacombs? They must be crawling with countless vengeful fangshi souls. But do you not have my super weapon for me that I gave you? Come on, man. I guess not. Yeah. Milking? <laughs> I'm gonna cry! Here. Beginning to parse map data. Have you thought of the issues that might arise if I take all the resources? It's none of my business. No wonder you were left here. Um, so did I I feel like I explored that area pretty thoroughly. Let's find out. No, never mind. Five out of seven? Really? I guess there's oh, never mind. There's like a whole area over here that I haven't really been to, I just realized. And then four out of four, three out of three. That makes sense. Right. I kind of want to check out this before I'm done with that area completely. Um. All right, huge. Milking. Yes, no, no milking. I want to figure out, ah, uh, hold on. You know what I... I want to figure out this little side quest where I'm supposed to defeat this yellow snake that lives in an island in a forbidden lake in a cave or something. Because I have no idea what that's referring to. Can we have some milking? You know what? Hi. Yes. I will milk just for you, Ironhawk, just because you asked. I'm going to go milk and do some exploring because I like this game and I like exploring everything in this game. So my thoughts about the forbidden... Island on the Forbidden Lake is that it's this area and the abandoned mines that I couldn't figure out how to get to. I feel like I need additional movement. Unless maybe my double jump lets me get through here. But I don't think so. Milking, yes. You know what? Fine. What if I just embrace it? I'm embracing it. You know what? I love to milk. I'm going to milk even harder. Every time somebody values milking, I'm just going to take that as a sign that you guys love milking and you want me to milk harder. From weapon to small business owner. He, yeah, that guy's a... I wonder if you get to fight him. I wonder if you get to do the fight the shopkeeper thing with him. Um, okay, for one thing, I'm going to finally go back to prison and get that thing that I wanted to get a while ago, but couldn't because... It, Last time I went back here, I didn't have my uh, my butterfly. My butterfly had been stolen from me. Um. Oh, there's actually two different. Okay, there's actually a direction I can go just over here, which I didn't realize. What is this? Oh. Okay. Well, that's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna milk so hard. I only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I'm sorry. Oops. Oh, 
Brunger fly. Yo, what's up, Patches? Nice uh, color change, by the way. Oh. I went the wrong way! I went the super wrong way. Fuck. Okay, hold on. I can't even go- I can't even go down this way. I have to go all the way around. Say goodbye to the VOD. You think that my rendition was uh, so good that it was going to get me demonetized or get me muted? I don't know about that. I mean, I, I always knew that I had talent, but do you really think I have that much talent? Turn around. Thank you. Get lost, nerd. I don't. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. Okay, up here. Oh shit. Okay. That's fine. Come on. No! Okay, that's the first time I've had to platform with this little butterfly. I think I would love to have talent. Listen, I think everybody is talented their own way. Right, weapons? Wouldn't you agree? You would agree with that statement, right? Gaming. Everybody is talented at something. You would not? Hmm. Sounds like you just don't have talent. Mob Quell Jade allows talisman attacks to simultaneously hit an additional target. I already have one of these. So this is just a second one of these. So I, I can have it hit three enemies at once, I guess. All right. Well, that's all the loot in this area. There's loot I missed up here. I shall do that. God fucking damn it, Thebrungo. Yo, what is it, bit crunched? Why am I earning such vitriolic language from you? What have I done to deserve this, huh? What have I done? What? Why are you falling through? That's just how you are, full of hate? Oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. You should try letting go of the hate and embracing love. Probably good for you. Wait, can I just go this way? I forget how I actually get up here. I think I do go this way. Yeah, okay, there we go. Is this guy who I chopped his head off? Pasture massage. It's, I don't think. Well, for one, I don't think you spelled it right, but I don't actually remember how it is spelled. Okay, where am I going? I'm going over there for one. Oh, I should have just. I'm kind of trolling. I should have teleported. Okay, we can go this way, this way, um, where am I trying to go? Up. We want to stay up. Okay. Hate leads to suffering? Exactly. And suffering is bad. That's what Yoda says. Suffer not, okay. As I believe the full quote. You're looking at me with, with me big frog eyes filled with frog eyes. First of all, I don't, listen. I don't mean to. I don't mean to, like, be rude or anything, but... 
I don't think you're a frog. Wait, am I? Hey, my my way of the water turned off. How did my way of the water turn off? Oh, I see. Put this back on. Oh, that was a greater Tau fruit. Yo, gaming. Froggies, McCall gets... I don't see a whole lot of hate in the eyes of Froggies, I'll be honest. Froggies looks like a very uh, happy emote, if anything. Looks like a well-meaning, you know, joyful emote. Full of life and nourishment and happiness. Frog, a pop Nemo. No, I think that's a dog. Not a frog. Again, slightly different. Where the hell is this? Okay, where's the other... Man, I don't know if I care too much to 100% this area. There's one chest somewhere in here that I've missed, apparently. Well, okay, it won't take too long to figure it out. He likes eating flies. Well, that does sound like Froggy. If I know Froggy, Froggy likes eating fry flies as well. But listen, not everybody who likes eating flies is a frog, okay? I'm sure there's lots of human chatters in chat right now who like eating flies. Doesn't mean they're all frogs. This is my I fucking hate you dance. What have I done to deserve this, though, Bitcrunch? Name one thing I have ever done to deserve being hated. I dare you. Where the hell? Okay. Where, oh, where? Where, oh, where is my goddamn chest? Not a human chatter, you're a frog? Okay, but still. Doesn't answer my question. What have I done to deserve hatred? Oh, wait, you're, you're responding to Waka. Okay, my bad. Oh, here's my thing. I see. Gaming. All for a standard component. Okay. We've officially 100%ed the prison. That milking is complete. Where else should we milk? Shitter shove that milking. Okay. I mean, I'll take that under consideration. Um, Talisman explosion, chi charges. Probably want the Talisman explosion damage. It's just a damage up. It's pretty strong. Okay. Um, what am I looking for? Teleport. Have you done nothing wrong or just a mean little freak frog creature? No, that's totally fair. There's a lot of mean little frog freak creatures in chat, but the thing about the word freak is that it's so pejorative, you know? I prefer to think of you all as uh, wonderful, unique people. Um, What else do I want? I never got this... Uh, node or never got this uh this thingamajig from this guy the map from the robot over here because i didn't have the money before which i don't think this map will have anything but oh. i'll get it just for the dialogue with the guy at base further analysis can be done to reveal hidden map data sure Shedder shove that milking, shedder shove my milking alert. I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's, I mean, if, if it's some kind of sexual reference, it'll have to be a little bit more explicit for me to get it. Also, Weapons is asking me to name one thing I've ever done. I played Nine Souls at one time. You remember that? Remember when I did that? Um, where am I even going? Oh. Okay, I'm going here because I can give him some poison, and I think that gives me health. I think I have at plus one. Yeah, and then I'll do the chip. 
That's delicious. The flavor has a gentle sweetness that lingers even after I've gulped it down. <laughs> munch, munch. Not bad. It really goes down. <laughs> Shen I? Not bad. It was so good, I almost forgot how to breathe. I blacked out and saw a few of my dead buddies. It was a hell of an experience, let me tell ya. Oh, good. Uh, is that enough to... Damn it. Okay. I was not at 1 out of 2. I was at 0 out of 2. This guy's gonna die. Now, his whole thing is that he can only eat poison. Poison, like, heals him. And so I've just been collecting poisonous things to feed him. Oh. What's going on here? Not Solarian business. Don't worry, I wasn't looking. I was just curious whether you found what you were looking for. Oh, he was searching things on the monitor behind me. Also, what's up, Rabbit? How are you doing? Nice to see you. Shanghai 9000 looking for someone. Who? Oh? Shanghai 9000 looking for friend? Solarian? You should look in the Enlightenment Sanctum if you're looking for Solarians. Friend's not in the Enlightenment Sanctum. Friend is not sleeping. Oh. They haven't been sleeping. All you're going to find is a body. Almost found friend. Aw, this poor guy. My map guy has been looking for a friend the whole time. Feb Rungo Rungo. Only my family calls me Feb Rungo Rungo Cloud. You're all the same model. Why do you all talk so differently? Do Solarians all talk the same? Is that a fair comparison? Go ask people who made us. That's fair. Just got home after being away from your beloved drugs for the weekend. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rabbit. It must be, uh, must be terrible for you. Hopefully. Hopefully you're, uh, you're in a better place now. Yeah, okay, this is, there's nothing to get here. And also, hello, Iron Wolf. How are you? Ain't nobody scrambling for no damn iPhone. Where's the Brungo at? Oh, there he is. I wish I got that reference, but you're right that I do not scramble for iPhones. The only thing I scramble for is eggs. Am I, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Sir Yi, I have the most fortunate news to share. Are you lowering your prices? <laughs> that would be difficult to do. I hope you'll understand. The good news is about my dear brother. Thanks to your assistance, I've accumulated a sizable amount of gin. I believe that given time, these funds will help my brother regain his freedom. <laughs> No need to be bashful. I suspect you also purchased items which you didn't need. As much as I'm slightly ashamed to say this, there's one thing I'd like to discuss. In truth, other than Jin, the liberation of my brother will also require a select few parts from other guards. It's unfortunate that I, a meek scholar, am unable to handle violent tasks. Hmm. I've beating around the bush. Ever since you called to me, I knew this day would come. You want me to help you kill some guards and pick up some parts. Tell me what you want and where I can find them. Hmm. Part is called the Soul Severing Blade. Don't I already have that one? It's why I currently held by a high-ranking guard named Shang Li. Guard patrols the depths of the eight-man facility near the abandoned... Yeah, I already killed that one. I already got that item. Oh, nice. Let's go. What type of furry is that? That's a battle droid. From Star Wars. Lolly Scrambles is your stripper name. Yo. You sound, uh, you sound like an effervescent character, Weapons. Hmm. It's not too far. I'll give it a try if I manage to pass by. Okay, I already have it. Here. Here's the dagger you asked for. Bless you, Sergei. Your benevolence is immeasurable, and your virtues are as clear. You don't need to exaggerate. Oops. The Celestial Legion are the Council's elite guards. They can indeed be a bit of a nuisance. When compared to an ancient weapon like you, they're just small fry. I do indeed differ from them in very rather inherent ways, but this does not mean I possess a higher prowess in combat. Ding Shang Wei is an example. You do not see that he blindly follows orders without any autonomy. To exist trapped in that telelurgical code is a pitiful existence. I believe that it is benevolent and righteous to have put them to rest. I think only creatures with free will can be considered alive. Indeed, he who is unable to live for himself is just a dead man walking. True. I guess. Although he is a robot, so who knows. What? <laughs> After all, I couldn't think when I first opened my eye. In the beginning, I was kept in the Xi family's vault. At the time, my senses were obscured. I could only see the objects displayed in that room. Placed before me were the last written words of the great Xi patriarch. 
Ohm initially appeared to me as just a collection of symbols, but those ink strokes accompanied me year after year. But one day, I suddenly understood its meaning. A surge of emotions poured into my brain. It was as if I woke up from a reverie. Everything in this world began to brim with meaning. Oh, wow. To think a poem could create self-awareness. It's nothing short of a miracle. Cuckoo. I like when he goes cuckoo. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a laugh. I guess that's him laughing. Getting your old job back tomorrow? Yo, congratulations, Iron Wolf. That's huge news. But the world is much too colorful to not listen to one's heart and wasted time on tasks assigned by others. If I can't grant this experience to my brother, then I'm afraid it will all have been in vain. I'm grateful to you, Sir Yi, for this great gift. I shall put it to good use. Okay. By doing what, I wonder? Somehow that's going to help him get his brother back. Um, okay, I was, anyway, I was looking to try to figure out where the hell, um, the lake was to help the people, to help the ape people. Now I kind of have no idea. How annoying. What is that symbol? Zero out of one something in here. Is that bosses? Oh, there's apparently a ton of areas that I haven't explored here. I apparently walked straight through this place without doing anything. When is the poet turning into a super boss to fight? That's how I'm feeling. They're making this big deal about how he's like a super weapon and he's the shopkeeper. Free the eight people? Well, we've already freed the eight people, but now one of the eight people is dying of a disease. And to get the cure, I need to beat... I need to kill the snake somewhere. Oh, I totally forgot about this research center that I ran through that one time. I could, I could actually go there now. Um, free the ape guy. I could, maybe, maybe I should. Let me hold on. And then there's also that treasure map that I got. Where did that say? I also don't know what the GM fertilizers do. Um, where is it? Here. No, not this one. This one. The wealth of nine kingdoms hid deep in Kunlun, tucked in a grotto upon the eastern shore. The Fusang cave painting points up to the skies. Keep flying and you'll find treasure galore. Okay, so that's saying it's in... I assume that's saying it's in the grotto, and then I have to follow some cave painting into the skies. Weird. I've seen several cave paintings here. I'll, I'm going to go... I'm going to check this place out. I will. Because there's stuff that I'm missing here anyway, I know that. I'm gonna go check it out a bit. Maybe we'll run around doing metroidvania e stuff for like an hour or so, and then we'll get back on track to main progress. Sounds like a good plan. Our treasure, exactly. We're going for the R treasure. Haven't explored a grotto since you split up with your girlfriend. No, oh, I'm... I'm sorry, was was she, you and her, like, into spelunking or something? That sounds like a very fun uh, couple bonding moment, is uh, going caving together. Sorry for your loss. Oh. Up. Up. Okay. Right, so this is something that I haven't been able to get to yet. And I've already been up here. I don't remember where this goes. Oops. I figure I should double check. Actually, no. I don't think I need to. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. The, 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 it's the other place that I want to look at, look for. Um, yes, this is right. Don't go to the grotto? Why not? The grotto has lots of cool stuff. And by lots of cool stuff, I mean at least two new weapons. Or I mean at least two new uh, chests for me. The Iraq War was a bush too. True. Oh my god, what? Excuse me? What the fuck? Why? 
Okay, weird. I don't know why that didn't break his shield the first time. And I also don't know why the arrow didn't break the shield. Okay, I don't remember. Right, how do I do this? Okay, there's something... Oh, well, maybe I can... No. There's something to do over here that I don't quite understand. Some way to get up here. And I think I'm supposed to come from this direction. And not from the other direction. Maybe I can make it all the way around. Oh my god. Pogo off that enemy. I don't think you gain height from Pogoing unless they're actually doing the, uh... Unless they're actually doing one of the charge attacks. Don't go to the grotto. They clearly eat relationships. You'll cause thousands of breakups. The grotto eats relationships? I think I missed something. If I fall down here, I think I just hit the load zone to go to the other place. I guess I'll check. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Oh. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Gaming. Oh my god. Grotto is the Jimmy Neutron dog. Nope. Woo. Very true. Oh my god, I can't... Okay. This is all just for one little chest up here? Standard component? I guess there was $300 in there, but really? That was all for a standard component? <laughs> really? Fuck. Huh. I want... Okay. I wonder where the other thing is then. Bottom left. I see, yeah, I'm seeing if you're if you're talking about this, I'm kind of thinking about that too. I could fall off that ledge from the top to go down and see if there's something missing in that overhang. Hmm. Oh, let's go here. A nice uh a nice picnic blanket, some fine wine and cheese near the sunset, so the sky's all vibrant colors with a few stars speckled in. Wow. I didn't realize you were such a romantic, Iron Wolf. No. This, oops, wrong way. So a side of you I've not seen, and honestly, it's beautiful. No basic bitches in chat? Oh, come on. You think going on a romantic picnic is too ba basic, bitch? What's wrong with that, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just right here. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Divine Hand Jade. Press parry right after a successful unbounded counter to perform continuous unbounded counters. Huh. Is that useful? Weird. Okay, well, that doesn't have what I thought it would. That wasn't the treasure that the thing... I'm kind of confused. So this thing... This thing says that ticked, tucked in a grotto upon an eastern shore and we're in the area called Grotto, the Fusang Cave painting points up to the skies, keep flying, and you'll find treasure galore. Now, this is the Grotto of Scriptures, West East Entry. We have all of the loot according to the map for all of those areas. And so, unless there's something else secret, and I also don't think I can go any higher than I already have. So I have no idea what that's referencing, in other words. It's a total mystery. Um, I could try this going a little bit higher, I guess. 
I don't know what the best way to get back up there would be. Climbing, I guess. She should be wearing a the lingerie on top like a super harlot. I mean hero, I mean horo, I mean wario. You doing all right there, weapons? Are you are you finding your words appropriately? Me getting a standard item was the basic bitch thing. Oh. I guess when I got a standard component, that was kind of basic bitch. Wario top right. I am not a okay, let's be real, I'm not a Wario. I'm a Waluigi, come on guys, I'm a Waluigi. You think I'm not a Waluigi? Also, this is a Fusang cave painting, right? It says, above this, ascend to the skies. But like, I've already, I've, I've gone up there. Right above here is the boss fight. Hold on. Is there something I can do with this bridge? Like, can I, oh, I can make it up here. It's obvious. What, the, the solution to the riddle is obvious? You think so? Am I being unaware? Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I have no idea. Oh, me being a Waluigi, okay, thank you. Thank you, I agree. Look at me go, Wah! Or what, I, I guess I can't actually do a very good Waluigi, but. I don't know what else to do there. Iron Wolf also agrees that I'm a Waluigi. Okay, good. But thinks that I'm a 10. Oh, oh, please, I'm only a nine, souls. Is my son writing something? Okay, nothing new. May I get confusing tonight? Me? May you think am I doing an unusually bad job at parsing chat? I apologize if that's the case. Why are these giving exclamation points now? Huh? The ape man facility is giving exclamation points. Is there something to do there? Wait, I'm confused. Parsley chat. No, 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 no. Parsing chat. Oops. Um, hmm. How does it feel to not be an ultimate? Honestly, I'm too good for ultimate. They're, it's their loss, not mine, if they don't want me. Slay. Okay, let me check one more thing before I'm done milking. Save Ape Ep Man, that's where I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to do. I wish I could pull up the, what the dialogue was. For where it said where to go. It said in an island in a forbidden cave or something like that. Um, but it doesn't, it didn't give me like an item or anything to like remember it by. And I don't have like a quest dialogue thing. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. Forbidden Lake? Right. The thing is, I have no idea what the Forbidden Lake is, because I've not heard of no Forbidden Lake before. None of the areas are called, like, Forbidden Lake or anything, to my knowledge. My best guess is that it's this area here. Because you can see that there's an area by behind behind here, but it's kind of really hard to get there. Butterfly, that is a good point. Oh, somebody was here cooking fish. Maybe the, is this supposed to be where the guru is? 
Oh, I think this is supposed to be the starting point of the other map of the underground cave. This is supposed to be where yeah, this is supposed to be where I'm starting. That that's my fishing thing from where I started the game. It's just that they don't literally link up. So it's like the same chunk of the map repeated, I think. Also, what's up, Arvid the Music? Good evening, video jamers. I love the way you say that word, video james. Hello? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh, there's an invisible wall there. It's not even just that the stalactite sitting there. Okay, so this is this cannot be the island on the Forbidden Lake then. Unless the island on the Forbidden Lake is over here. You know what? While I'm here, let me just check that to make sure I'm not being super stupid about it. You have drank from it, it makes you hormonally irresistible. The Forbidden Lake? Really? Would you describe yourself as hormonally irresistible right now? I mean, I'm not saying you're not, Iron Wolf. I'm just wondering if you would describe yourself as that. Also, Arvid, how was your day, your Sunday? I hope you gamed most heartily. Oh, oh, it's right here. Oh, it is right here. Okay. Well, I'm glad I checked. Beautiful. Yellow Dragon Snake Venom Sack. Can be handed over to Shenong to make an antidote. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we saved the ape person. Speaking of the ape person, what's up, Shy Guy? How are you doing today? Sack? Yes. The great city of Sacramento. Fuck. You got a wizard to break the curse? Oh, well. I'm happy for you. Also, Shy Guy, you have to understand, when I called you an ape man, I meant it strictly as a compliment. Because the ape men are the humans in this game, and you know, being human is good. How are you? How is uh how is the child today? And how is your back? Are the hormones in the room with us right now? Yeah, I always carry those with me wherever I go. Just what I needed. How did you get so agile? Practice makes perfect. There's no way around it. How do I make the antidote? Yeah. Remember how I'm immune to poisons? I don't know the reason either. But when I ingest poison, my body neutralizes the toxins. Whatever I expel ends up be oh god, ends up being an antidote. Give me the venom sack and I'll show you. Oh god, don't tell me he's gonna shit out the thing that I'm feeding the kid. What? Did you say you were going to swallow it and uh, no. Ever heard of mouth chewing wine before? I'm not blind, that wasn't chewing. You literally. Mm. Why are you making such a big fuss? You didn't mind the other drinks I brewed up. All this time, everything I've had, all the drinks I've had with you was brewed in this manner. You love this guy's style? Yeah, his whole thing is he's immune to poison. We feed him shit in order to survive. And then he gives us like his alcoholic beverage that he makes himself as like a reward that gives us max health and so apparently that drink that we've been sharing with him was fermented inside of his stomach and he's puked it out this entire time so yeah what of it like i said no one brews like how i brew it's a little too late to be disgusted now you liked what i had to serve up at the end of the day right all done. This will nullify the snake venom. Give it to that unfortunate boy. Why don't you give it to him yourself? <laughs> no way. I wasn't the one who hunted down the snake. Why should I take the credit? Oh, great. Sabinse. Right now, you're the hero and I'm the outsider. Fine, but this is the last time I'm doing this. Beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean utterly disgusting. Everything is well? I love to hear that. Uh, shy guy. Aha, so meta. What? What? <laughs> Nothing meta just happened or was said. I... What? <laughs> what is... Sometimes Walker says some very strange things. Okay. 
you're back. The praise of the coming of the Divine One. Or sorry, praise the coming of the Divine One. We are eternally grateful. You can skip that last part. Every second counts when saving a life. Here's the antidote. Uh. It really was an antidote. There's so few of us left, so we must try. Given the antidote first, you'll have all the time to say thank you later. Game's really cool. More you watch, more you love the aesthetic. Yes, I agree. The game's really cool. It's a uh, game of the year for sure. I mean, I've only played one game from 2024, but of the one game that I've played from 2024, it's the game of the year. His fever is gone and his rash is receding. Thank heavens. Thank you so much for lending a helping hand. You should be thanking someone else. Yes, Ha Nong made the uh, antidote after all. What happened to your reverent tone? Did you forget to worship me? Your humble subject has severely wronged you, Divine One. Please forgive this egregious transgression. Oh, you're giving me a headache. If gods really existed, why would anyone have to suffer? You should just talk to me normally. Uh, I wouldn't dare. It would take little for those outsiders to destroy us. Uh, you already knew the truth behind Peach of Blossom Village and the outside world. Uh, oh, I had some idea that maybe... Maybe the, our bodies were being harvested by a body harvester and not by gods. You wish people praised your coming? Oh, well, just make sure your coming is praiseworthy, Weapons. I'm sure people will start to do it. My awakening happened early when I found out about those outside our village and the worlds beyond our world. Does anyone else uh. know? I was the only one left, but we never expected all this to happen to us. The situation has changed. You won't be able to protect your village by simply obeying us gods. Uh. What else can we do? Find a way to protect yourselves. That's very helpful. Hmm. I wonder if I'm far enough along that I can instantly trigger the next interaction with these guys if I go back in. Because uh, I took a while to complete that quest. Doesn't look like it. Oh, well, yo, yeah, what's up, Candy? Oh, hey, look, they've expanded. The humans have expanded. I, I, the fact that they're situated in the dock, like the galactic dock, makes me wonder if the solution is that they're gonna go back to Earth at the end of the game. If we're gonna get them a ship and ship them off back to Earth, wish I could send them to my village. There's a bit too much of them for my base. How are you doing today, Candy? Humans have expanded, a quote from a history book on the 21st century. It's true. The human race uh, population increased quite a bit in the 21st century. They would be protected there. Uh, they would also draw a lot of attention to my hideout. I don't know if they would all fit and be able to, I don't know, work out. Um. Okay, I actually don't really have any side quests left to do. Aside from that treasure, which I still don't really know what that treasure means. I might have found it already, for all I know, and just didn't even recognize that it was the treasure. Hmm. This game has so little milking. <laughs> it's, it's true. Well, I don't know. It depends on your definition of milking. Hmm. Fuck it. We're going to the Imperian District. Nice mansion you got there. Hey, thank you. I do. I do love my little hub. I like how. I like how Sean Sean like changes things the longer that he goes there. He puts up his little drawings, and he like, the couch becomes messier and more full of pillows and little details like that. It's adorable. Um. Okay. So I want to go up from here. You're lucky there's to be some jelking. I still don't really know what jelking is. I think somebody explained it to me at some point and then I forgot. Did I already, did I do this? Yeah, I did. All right. 
Jelkin is like mewing for your dick. Oh, wonderful. Speaking of mewing, cat update. What's up, Epic Giddy? Picked her up in the storage room and she gave a little meow. Oh my god. That's adorable. My cat got her Sunday slime today. She was very happy. She was very energetic about it. She was so happy she wanted to come straight into my room until she realized I was playing a video game and then she left immediately afterwards. She doesn't like being on my map when I'm using a controller. I hope you had a good Sunday. Happy getting. Have you reached the Empyrean District? I've never been there myself, but I would venture a guess that those exclusive areas must be decked with majestic scenery and magnificent splendor. However, the security level for the living quarters is also extremely high, with many guards patrolling even during dormant periods. Something's off about this place. It's too quiet and the security is relatively lax. Could this be another Thanks. trap? Forgive me, but I do not have enough data points to make a judgment. It doesn't matter. I'm too deep in the tiger's den to stop now. All right. Let's see what the deal is. It's weird that Mewing is named after Mew. It's actually named after Mew too. Actually, I have no idea what it's named after. To be quite honest. Off for the night. Have fun getting more souls. Yo, thank you. Enjoy your evening, Epic Kitty. Thank you for the update. Nice to hear from you. Oh, hello. I see you there. I see you there. You're not... Okay, I guess we don't get to fight him yet. Okay. Hello, you. You. Fuck! Fuck! Okay, I'm dying. Is Funny Poe Man still around? Yeah, he's in my base. We just gave him an item that he needs to uh, save his brother down the road. So he's still working on that. Treasure chest up there. Does this turn on power? Yes. Does she know when it's Sunday? My cat? No. My cat has not been able to tell when she does or does not receive her special food. She just always asks for it and never expects it. Oh, I can climb up that. She's not the smartest little kitty. Oh, hey, Fishman. Give me the map, please. Hey. Hey, Mr. Anita Tor. Well, this guy's fish looks really, uh, unhealthy. As this old saying goes, how does it go again? Enjoy a sublime eternity amongst the evergreen foothills. New Kunlun, the second home of your dreams. How about a drink? You serve alcohol? No, not since they ran out. This humble servant only serves stories. What will it be? Um, give me a status report. Keep ignoring me. You're not going to find any other facility to interact with. These entertainment facilities weren't designed to run for too long. They all became useless after the Solarians went to sleep. Okay. Restaurants, tea houses, taverns, and tailors in the Empyrean District have all ceased operation. Coupled with the high rate of accidents recently, it may not be particularly safe to walk around. Okay. The rate of irregular awakenings has increased. They can't communicate and are extremely irritable. The system now classifies them as non-intelligent creatures, so I don't have yeah, to guide right. them. But the only one that stands out, you're lucid and I like that. Let me treat you to another drink. What does sleep assistance entail? It sounds like a euphemism for killing people. You notice I haven't bordered this video with my cat. Well, that would be because it is not a 4 to 3 or otherwise non-16 to 9 uh, aspect ratio game. 
On this nearly endless voyage, it is only inevitable that some are awakened due to unknown anomalies. If you're one such person, please find the nearest robot and ask for sleep assistance. I have 10 different conversation modes, lullabies in different languages, and an extensive collection of jokes that should e help ease your nerves. Oh, I thought that meant they would just kill them. Once sleep assistance has concluded, the guards will take you back to your hibernation pod. They're not amenable to delays or objections, so please cooperate. No one is in charge. During the planning and construction of the Imperium District, Lord Fushi was the one in charge. However, Lady Nua seems to be the only person I've seen around these days. Nua plays little attention to affairs outside of her banquets. I com recommend contacting the Dust Guardian logistics team. Okay. Don't tell me that she's eating people. I, I Somehow I feel like cannibalism is going to make its way into this game. It's a spectacular event exclusive to the Feng Clan and their closest mm -hmm. VIP friends. Sure. Nine Souls is also being streamed by Yes, I'm Ember. Do I plan to beat her? No, I don't really enjoy beating anybody. I'm not I'm not pro beating. I deliver sleep assistance. Hey, thank you, Ironhawk. I try my best. What were those two thinking waking up so regularly? If you leave your hibernation pod, the Tianhuo virus in your body will continue to spread. Just as you are doing at this very moment. But if life's getting shorter anyways, why not make the most of it and party, right? Okay. Give me your map. Once the chip is removed, our destinies will be undone. Bring me 400 jin. Okay. McCall wants to feast as well. There's room for the cat in the top right. There's already a cat in the top right. Meow. I'm definitely a safe space for people trying to get to bed. Thank you, Iron Wolf. I'm going to continue to take these comments as a compliment. Imperium Bulletin Board. The vital sanctums are ready. New Kunlun is going dormant. All services in the Imperium District have ended. All passengers should report to the Enlightenment Sanctum. During the long interstellar journey, Solarian passengers could seek comfort in the various life and entertainment systems in the Imperium District. Stress-relieving agents were added to all food and drink in the District in order to maintain the emotional stability of all passengers. Oh. They got drugs in the food and drink, eh? Fuck this guy. Stop. Ah! Okay, we almost got him. Try it again. We got him. Turning chemicals in the water to turn the ape men gay. Nefarious. We got THC drinks in Texas now? Oh, yeah. McCall was drinking one of those the other day. Oh, whoa, whoa. It was honestly the first time I'd really heard of them. Everything you can think of except for the plant itself. Wait, weed is illegal, but the weed drinks aren't? That seems silly. Damn it. Gaming. Did you save the ape man? I did save the ape man, but yes, I did. I, it was, for one, it was an ape child, but it, oh, who the fuck is that? Oh, that's one of the ones who woke up too early. Oh, no. They are some shambling zombies, aren't they? That's not good. Oh, fuck. Oh, can I? Is this? this yeah. Hmm. I don't like the look of that. Let's go, uh, rest. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, joy. Those, those zombies are going to make some terrible zombie noises, I can already tell. What makes this game Sekiro? Well, the fact that it is a parry-based combat system. Mostly. Um, it's unusual. Oh, okay. I can break that stuff. I see. That's what that's trying to tell me. You can ferry in Sekiro? I never saw you do that. Ha 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 ha. Oh. What a funny joke, Waka. You got the whole crowd laughing. Oh god. Okay, these guys are immortal. They do not die, so that's not good. They keep checking in with an old weirdo who drinks piss. Does someone drink piss in Sekiro? I don't remember that part. But, uh... I was not super up-to-date on my Sekiro lore. So I'm got mad a bunch of times? Okay. That, see, that I remember. That sounds like someone who watched the Sekiro playthrough. Whoever I gave the monkey piss. I don't th wait, that wasn't monkey piss, was it? I thought the monkey booze was just like naturally fermented uh, berries that monkeys drink, and that's why it's called the monkey booze. Drinks piss till he's sick, then everyone drinks his vomit. Yeah, well, that's that's this game. I don't know if that's in Sekiro. I also don't know how to get up there. I wonder if I'll get a triple jump or something. Oh, this is hackable. Gaming. Hello, you. Oh! Okay, wow. I just fucking died. Beautiful. I think the monkeys have a distillery. You know, the description of the item says that it's like... Ne ba like, the berries that get stored in, like, the barrel... Like, a hollow tree, right? Like, the trunk of a, ho a hollow trunk of a tree will, like, naturally ferment. And then the monkeys drink that sometimes. I think that's what the description of the item says. Euphemism for piss. Okay, well. It's an odd euphemism. But but it seems a good hand, so. Well, who am I to say? I find it incredibly coincidental that the difficulty of traversing these areas seems to increase in line with the increase in my ability to traverse these areas. You know, you're right, that's a crazy coincidence. It's almost as if somebody is intentionally trying to make the game harder as you progress in order to match for your uh, increased abilities. It's almost like there's some kind of person who's been designing, unbelievable, who's been designing the game, developing it even. God, yes. Well, if you think about it, game designers are basically gods. I mean, okay, let's not. Dude, I'd rather not die, please. Thank you. Hang Lei recipe collection. Oh, we can get Sean Sean to start cooking. Yes. Let's go, Sean Sean. 
fact that life is no such difficulty curve is evidence there is no god. That's how... The new evidence for no god is the lack of level design. Maybe the level does... Maybe god's just a bad... Uh... Game dev. Not everyone's got the talent, you know? Not everyone has the sauce. Dust Guardian recording device number five. You want to be a god? Me too, Ironock. If we're still talking about game developers. Log entry. The deceased broke into a restaurant to steal food. Upon failing to find any, he committed suicide due to mental illness. No, that's not it. I want to record what I'm saying. We got an order to execute another one of those crazy bastards, except the thing is they weren't crazy at all. He made some strange noises, but I knew what he was saying, including the part where we're all become monsters. When the pustules started to appear, he killed himself right in front of me. It's not possible. He must have been lying. The souls wouldn't lie to us. Oh, great. I didn't mean to... Is there a way to kill these guys? I don't think there is. At least I haven't found it. Not having such a contrived mechanic is a sign of a good game dev. The game getting game getting more difficult to match with the player's abilities and skill is bad is is contrived. It's uh interesting take. Uh oh. Hello. My heart entangled by the plum tree. Oh, this is beautiful. Wait, this looks like. Is this just a boss? Oh, to be loved like these dainty blossoms. I know how you feel. Any dainty blossoms in chat? Yeah, this is the sleep aid, exactly. I think this is literally the sleep one of the sleep aids in game. To live and die, vibrant and free. Okay. Oh, I can, I'm just plugging myself in. It's getting harder to identify the milking. I'm listening to the beautiful song that's being... Wait. Okay, this is interesting. We're just straight up being given the... Uh, given the backstory. What's going on here? Nuwa Fushi. Welcome to the most glorious era. Okay, so they were twins, it looks like. What do you think you're doing? Dabbling in these lower class pursuits. Mom didn't like them becoming uh, actors. With the wealth our family has accumulated for a millennium, we can turn this crisis into an opportunity. Is the banquet ready? Everyone must be exhausted from getting here. Interesting. I'm not just going to get a random soul without a boss fight or anything, right? This is normally where we get souls. Has the play started yet? I have a bad feeling about this. Wait, I'm just getting a soul. What? I didn't fight a boss or anything. Wait, what's the, what's the catch? Free run soul? Hey, that's crazy. Seven out of nine, I guess. Seven of nine. It's just like Star Trek. That doesn't seem right. Was that a dream sequence because we plugged in? Oh, it's been a while, Yi. Since when did you become a thief? Stealing soul seals is a capital offense according to Council Law. Oh, has the assumed Feng Clan finally taken an interest in law? You seem to have changed a lot too, Nua. <laughs> To be honest, I couldn't care less about whatever your deal is. But my brother complained that you were disturbing our play. That really was Fushi right now. Aww. Let's make a deal. I'll let you grab what you need if you promise to leave quickly. I have banquets planned for every 10 years, but thanks to your meddling, this one will have to go ahead a bit early. 
Okay. Yo, Zorark, what's up? We just got to Seven of Nine Souls. The epic Star Trek reference that you were making. I guess you weren't there when you finished construction. The design and architecture ended up very tacky, and the restaurants were just atrocious. We should have recruited more chefs onto the island. That was a mistake on our part. But we make do with what we have. We just have to accept living in these subpar conditions, right? Talking about the horrors and living corpses strewn across your district. There are occasionally people who can't adapt to their soulscape. There's no need to fuss over a few hooligans. Centuries have passed like this. There's nothing the guards or dust guardians can't handle. Aww. Your appearance, however, is indeed unexpected. <sighs> I always feel sleepy right after waking up. I must take my leave. My brother and our guests are waiting. I don't care if you're here for revenge, but you should go to your mentor, Igong, instead of coming up here to bother us. Interesting. So these guys just don't give a shit. Fuji soul seal containing the character Bing, signifying... A shitty search engine. Huh. Fushi and Nua, one of the ten souls. Fushi hails from the Feng clan. Okay. Bing mentioned, yeah, I know. His patches isn't even here, I think, potentially, to talk about it. What a shame. Just just go back. This goes somewhere new. There you go. Jesus. Um. Okay. For, actually, let me go this way first before I go that way. Actually, no. I will go this way first. This area is kind of huge. It's weird. I wonder if I can literally just leave now and like not worry about anything else. Oh wait, I can't go this way. Odd, I say. Odd for them to just give me a soul like that. Ow. I'm dying. Uh, this is where I came in from. Okay. Money. This is closed. This is closed. Oh, I think I have to go down the other way in order to get over here. Well, I came all the way up here. I, th I guess I'll keep exploring instead of just straight up leaving immediately. <laughs> that would seem a little bit lame. Um. Why random bells? Good question. I might check out the bells a little bit more and see what their deal is. This goes somewhere else entirely. Did that open up anything above? Now this is still all turned off. So we must come in here from the left then in order to get more stuff done there. Okay. Well, fuck it, I guess. The bells are five of them, arranged like this. They don't have any symbols on them, like the last set of bells that I had. So, uh, there's no clear indication about, like, an order to play them in or something. At least not yet. Um, ba -ba -da -da -da. I wanted this. Lovely. I'm gonna go hand over my uh, map chip to the map dude. Hello. 
And I probably have dialogue with everybody because I suddenly got an extra soul <laughs> without even a fight. Aren't you running the risk of getting assimilated by receiving all these chips from other robots? Enjoy sublime eternity amongst evergreen foothills. New Kunlun, second home of your dreams. Uh-oh. Forget it. You're not cut out for this. Poor dude. Hey, you. Do you have my super arrows yet? <laughs> you don't. Bro, where are my super arrows? Whatever. Oh, I do have something to give Sean Sean, though. Hello. Take this recipe collection and learn to cook, my young son. He confiscated my nuke. I know, but he said he would give me, like, a cool weapon for it eventually. I think you'll like this book. Two sky peppers, one caddy of fish rice. This is a recipe. Not just any old recipe, it's a collection of recipes from the best chefs on Pengle. This is just a way for you to complain about the food I make. These recipes seem a little over the top. Carve a radish into the shape of a dragon? That's not going to make it taste any better. Traditional aristocratic cooking emphasizes both flavor and presentation. Is this what you used to eat? No. I came from a Taoist family, and we made do with simple meals. You did all that explaining, and then you tell me you've never had any before. It might be true, but we still had a lot of choices. What's the best dish you've ever had in your life? I might be able to make it. That would be a phoenix egg fried rice using leftover rice. That doesn't sound that hard. I guess it depends how hard it is to find a phoenix to lay an egg. Ooh. But egg fried rice is pretty easy. Okay, so next time we come back here, my son is going to make food, and I'm going to need everybody to tell him that he's doing a great job and that his food tastes delicious, regardless of how it actually tastes. If any of you tell him that his food tastes bad, I'm banning all of you permanently. Am I telling you to lie? If it if that's what it takes, emissary, yes, lie to my son. Oh hey, oh this is where I came in from. Also, how are you doing, emissary? How was your Sunday? What's the best Brungo cooking redeem ever tasted? Um. It might be Carolyn's Spaghetti Al Assassina. Also, we're getting a signal from our dead sister again. How are you doing, dear brother? I accidentally cut my hand a while back. I'm in poor health right now, and the wound won't heal. It hurts everywhere, and doing everything alone is so tiring. I wish you were here. Can't you come back to me, even if it's just for a moment? Where are you? Please, won't you come back? the last time I saved 20 seconds ago oh god wait we're meeting in the this is the afterlife these are the fields of dead souls or whatever I'd almost forgotten what this flute sounds like ye you came back I got caught up with something I didn't think they'd oh wait this isn't the afterlife this is just literally a field of dead bodies the disease acted quickly, as if it was all prearranged. They ascended after only a few days. It's probably for the better. Those two were inseparable. Oh, this is our parents' funeral, I see. It's okay. I know how you feel for missing the funeral. I wasn't even the one with the most to mourn for. Your trip home must have been really chaotic. They say the hospitals have all been totally overwhelmed. Every house I saw was covered in white cloth. When I looked down, the ground was covered in these white fungal flowers. The whole of Pengle will end up like this soon. It's as if this disease is depriving us of color itself. Mm. I think the sea of flowers looks quite pretty. It's as if everyone's returning to their original colors after their suffering ends. Great. <sighs> they take a nap today? No, I'm not really a napper. This was an expected outcome, but the Tianhuo is slowly growing out of control. If necessary, we'll have to shift the whole schedule forward. I know you don't like hearing about this, could, but could this just be our destiny? 
I think that this has a simple explanation. After eons of borrowing from Pengle, it's simply time for us to pay it all back. Creation and destruction, we were never meant to interfere. Are you feeling okay? It's like you're a different person today. No, I've never changed. Listen to me, Yi. Mom and Dad didn't really leave. I can feel it. Tianhua is just the transition. It's not the end. Life and death are one. When the end comes, we won't disappear. We'll just return to heaven and earth. As long as we have lived, the Tao will remember everything. I've heard enough. Oh shit, I'm getting mad at my sister. You're not going anywhere, and I'm never going to let you end up like mom and dad. Give me some time. Your new life on New Kunlun will be a million times better. I'll come back to pick you up once everything is ready. She's so dead. I mean, obviously, but who knows? Also, what's up, Eminem? That's why I'm a manlet. I didn't get taller after my heart exploded. Oh, you think so? That would make sense, I suppose. Sort of. That that stunted my growth. Also, Emissary says he didn't used to take naps either, but then he got old. I don't even think it's an age thing. I've actually been sleeping less as I've been getting older. I can rarely sleep more than seven hours nowadays. I used to be a solid eight hour -er, like every day. Don't dwell too much on it. Solarians are more resilient than you think. If we're united under one cause, nothing can destroy us. We will persevere. They did not persevere. Oh shit, they did not persevere. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> what a scene. Report to me for using sleep hacks? Yeah, I don't know. I wish I could sleep more. TBQH. Yo, Moss Castle, what is up? How are you doing, Moss Castle? Thank you so much for the raid. What were you playing today? How are you doing? Rabbit sleeps around three hours a night. That is not good. That is, I mean, as long as you can live, I guess. Big shout out to Moss Castle. How was your stream? Do I have a spreadsheet of all the games I have streamed? I do. Exclamation mark games. Hey, what? How the... Am I missing something? Hello, Tainted Azazel. How are you today? Can I... Huh? Am I being dumb here? I think I'm being dumb here or something. Was there a platform over here for me to jump on that I didn't notice? Can I jump on this? No. What? Huh? Um, I'm mildly confused. Three hours is not adequate. I agree. I would not think three hours is adequate. I'm very sorry to hear about that, Rabbit. How? What? I don't understand. Hmm. Maybe I need more verticality. May I still think I'm going to get... Well, let me look at my skill tree. No, I don't have any more skills to unlock. Right? So unless, like, somehow... I get a triple jump that doesn't count as an extra skill... I don't see how there could be anything else. Oh, this is an elevator. Okay, awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Yes, you're right. absolutely right, Ironheart. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I just died. <laughs> Jesus. Would I rather play Super Mario Sunshine 2 or Outer Wilds 34? I would much rather play 34 games that are like Outer Wilds to two games that are like Super Mario Sunshine. Howdy, Castle. What was what was the Moss Castle stream on today? What, what, what were they playing? Yeah, let's try that again. Where's my where's my thing going to be? Oh, it's gonna be here. Convenient. Look at that turkey. Oops. No. Dude. What? Okay, let's... Oh! Ah, fuck me. Dude. I just needed one second to be alone and heal, or to use a spell, or to do anything. But they just hit me with the five bazillion part combo. Okay, I should just spam arrows to get rid of the uh, archer at the start of the fight. I lost all my health because I was uh, freaking out trying to kill the archer. And to be clear, Emissary, it's not even that I dislike Sunshine that much. Sunshine is uh, probably my se yeah, definitely my second favorite uh, Mario game. But, uh, you know, it's no Outer Wilds. Okay. Don't think there's anything to do in this room. Tried Mario Odyssey for a little while earlier today. Oh yeah, did you like it at all? Odyssey is my favorite Mario game. There is a guy there. These games are not for you. Also, the Astrobot game. Interesting. What aspect of it is not for you? I feel like I have several ideas about what you mean by that, but... Astrobot seems weird to me. I feel like I would have trouble getting into Astrobot. The aesthetic. Uh, interesting. Astrobot seems like too much like just playing a commercial. A little too much like this isn't really a game. This is, you know what I mean? Um. Oh, I should go get that bonfire real quick. Bad news, my lord. The data from the Imperian District is highly unusual, just as you had predicted. The entire district, and especially the Enlightenment Sanctum, has turned into living hell. What happened here? Does the data say? Okay. The limited time available, I've only done a preliminary report. I've also provided Lord Quafu with a copy. Wait, Lord Quafu wishes to speak with you directly. Yeah, well, it's like a total disaster, and the most troublesome kind, too. I'm almost certain that those monsters and chunks of flesh mutated from our people. I could see Solarian features among a few of them. I think they even infect people who are still inside their soulscapes. It doesn't make any sense. The Tianhua virus should have stopped mutating long ago. We don't have a way to trace the cause yet, but at least that I know in my zone, nothing like this has happened in the last 500 years. I don't get it. The Imperian District has always been the safest passenger area. Could Nuwa or Fushi have something to do with it? Nuwa seemed unaware of anything. I don't think the spoiled rats could even pull off anything like this. 
Let's hope the spread of that mutant strain can be brought under control. You need to find a way to suppress them after you collect all the soul seals. After I collect the soul seals? Wait, that's not going to be the end of the game? Okay. Astrobot looks old-fashioned to the gameplay. They're copying old Nintendo games after all. I guess that's true. Yeah. I haven't seen a whole lot of the real gameplay. Astrobot looks and sounds like the Regal Cinema's pre-movie Exits to the Left Silence Your Cell Phones video. I know that that is a very good way of describing the vibe of that game. I mean, it looks cute. I don't know. I can kind of understand the appeal of it. Bucky O'Hare is a way of advertising the show, and there are no other old games except Bucky O'Hare. I've never even heard of Bucky O'Hare show or game. But, uh, hey, I believe you. I'm gonna go to the right first. Uh, this doesn't look... Oh, wait. I forgot. I can just do that. <laughs> okay. Vital Sanctum Tower Monitoring Panel. Vital Sanctum Tower Report. Soulscape System Online. Currently dormant 361. Currently awake. Calculation error. Recalculating. The Enlightenment Sanctum, a core area of New Kunlun, is home to many Vital Sanctum Towers. These Vital Sanctums are connected to the core Soulscape System through a sophisticated neural network to ensure that up to 100,000 Solarian passengers can sleep peacefully and enjoy endless dreams inside their vital sanctums. Feels like a Mario game, which is something people like. Game feel, responsive controls, and clear feedback. Right. I do like... Oh god, wait, I'm almost dead. How am I almost dead? That doesn't seem right. I do like when the game responds to me. I still don't know if there's... I kind of get the feeling that there's supposed to be a way for me to kill these guys. But I have yet to find it. Hmm. This is a weird corner to exist. When controls do something, but sometimes you just click keys on one of your computers while it's off. Yeah, it's also a reasonable take. I mean, listen, different strokes for different folks. I'm about to die. I still kill them if they were an endangered species. These guys? Well, these are my own people who have been zombified by some problem in the cryostasis uh, process. The hell? I can't open this either yet? Am I missing something? Is there a way to the left down there? I don't. I, I think that was broken too, right? Yeah, that's blocked off from that. The way above is blocked off. I don't think I can go straight up. Um, I'm a little confused. I'm quite confused, as a matter of fact. I can't make it all the way up here, can I? Oh shit, wait, I can. Oh. Interesting. That almost feels like... Unintended, but I think that's what I was supposed to do. I want to wipe out the cats to make way for the ape man. It's not true. What? I care strongly for all living beings, especially the intelligent ones, such as the cats. 
Dude. Dude, why am I so bad at this? Come on. Okay, there we go. What's up, B Canadensis? Welcome in. Love Mooncat, it's a game in UFO 50. I don't know when or how. I can go up here? Oh, that would have explained. That's probably what I'm supposed to have done. I think I sequence broke instead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gaming. Ooh! Epic loot. Those spikes are evil, I agree. Especially when I'm trying to deal with them. <laughs> that is an appropriate usage of the milking emote. Also, how am I? I'm doing pretty well. I hope you were doing well as well. Mooncat's the first one you got a cherry in. There's something about me that deeply just is finds appealing the idea of cherrying 50 games. It scratches a completionist itch that I basically never get on stream because I don't really do completionist stuff on stream. But um, I also kind of feel like the second I start actually playing those games, I'm going to not like them very much. And uh, I don't know. Ow. Come in. A standard component. You also played Shadow of the Colossus and Horizon Forbidden West. Oh yeah? And what did you think of those games, Rabbit? Horizon is a game I have never been particularly tempted to play. Oh my god. Canadensis the Canada Goose. Oh my god, you got it. Congratulations. Congratulations to Eminem. Anyway. Got your first cherry in the Big Bell race today. Congratulations. You're a Big Bell gamer, and I'm Big Bell proud of you. What? Try that again, I dare you. This just picked me back to where I already was, yes, but I can get the shortcut. Sick fairy, hey, thank you. Oh, hello. I feel like that's probably a boss fight. Okay, I have to go there because everything else is blocked off. Coming in. Also, there's a rave coming from in there. Oh, hell yeah. Rave, rave boss fight. There's a boss fight in this room. Dude, if I get to do rave music to the boss fight, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be a happy camper. Horizon games feel like they should be cool. Horizon games look like a big modern open world RPG to me, which uh, I don't find too appealing in general. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh my god, look at him go. It's a party. I thought I told you to stop bothering us. This is a private banquet. You can't be here without an invitation. There's an apocalypse outside your door, and you're still in the mood for this? Those girls shaking their hips in the middle look like the Keck W event. But... Never mind. Like my Keck W emote, I mean. Under these apocalyptic conditions, this is exactly what we should be in the mood for. <laughs> Isn't it better to choose a joy over moping around? If you must know, I think optimism is a talent. <laughs> it doesn't take any talent to keep your head in the sand. 
You need to see for yourself. The Imperium District is completely out of control. We need to act quickly. There might be some hope if we can wake everyone up. Aww. You're such a nag. Like I said before, it's not that serious. We've always been low on parts and resources to keep the Soulscapes operational. Since we left Pengle, countless people have already died in their dreams and met their maker. So it's your big Eternal Cauldron project going as planned. That wasn't under my control. Don't you frame me for that. <laughs> so you were the one with your head in the sand all along. Don't worry, we still love New Kunlun, the second home of our dreams. Right, Fushi? Only here can we party for eternity with never-ending music and ever-present guests. I'm gonna like the remaster more. I, I I hate the remaster a game six years after it comes out thing. I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't say hate because it doesn't make sense to get that upset about it, but it is pretty silly. Enough. I'm only here to collect the remaining soul seals. Hand them over and I'll leave you to rot in your own decadence. I'm tired of asking questions. Fine. I'll hand them over. And you better stay the hell away and not... Huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Fushi has something to say about it. Is it that serious? I'm sorry, Fushi. I'll make things right. My big brother said you're erratic, and you hate the rich and powerful. If I handed the keys of power to you, it would definitely come back to bite us. You might even destroy New Kunlun? I see it now. As expected, nothing escapes my brother's keen eyes. We have only one option. When's the last time you played in a martial arts drama, Fushi? You're in luck, Yi. Not everyone gets to play a scene alongside this famous actor. <laughs> I should do my part and play some music for this special occasion. I'm gearing up. I'm ready. I'm stretching. That is a lot of wonderful dances that you got in chat, by the way, people. Playing Shadow of Colossus on huge OLED screen and it looked amazing. Yeah, I could imagine. Oh, Joy, right. Of course, he's all fucked up. The Fangs. Okay. What's he doing? This guy sucks. Oops. I died. <laughs> okay, he does suck, though. I'm not wrong. Just because I died doesn't mean he doesn't suck. I didn't have the. Uh, I didn't have my full S's. Shadow of the Colossus feels dated now. Ancient masterpiece. I agree. Ancient, ancient, olden, elden times. Oh, wait. I have a lot of money. Oh, this kind of sucks. Oh, this kind of sucks big. I need to not lose my souls. I have 3,500 gold. I really don't want to lose that. Oh. That's really bad. I'm gonna keep towards the right side of the arena so that if I die, I can pick my shit up and spend it without... Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that, that was my thoughts exactly, Ironhawk. Walk in? I'm not walking in yet. That is a tactical death. I'm dying on the right corner of the arena so I can go pick my shit up without triggering the boss fight so I can go spend all my money without losing, having to worry about losing it when I actually grind the fight. Wish you played Shadow of the Colossus 20 years ago. 
Yeah, having played Shadow of Colossus recently myself, I, I feel that. I mean, to be fair, I played it on like the original PS2 emulated, which is not, I'm sure like the remastered version is not as bad, but still kind of sucked in certain parts, even though I do understand why people like it. It's pretty cool. Elden Ring doesn't have Homeward Bone, so if you die in a boss arena, there's no way to get your souls back without being a boss. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Do souls matter in Elden Ring? I guess they do. I don't know. I feel like all souls and souls games for me was always just like, you spend them after you beat a boss to level up, and then anything else you just lose. Okay, I want to get... Oh, I have a Dark Steel. I didn't even realize I had one. Um, I want this extra arrow ammo, though. Alt F4. Oh, that I suppose Alt F4 can save your souls. That's true. Just like in real life. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go over a little bit no matter what I do here. Do this one. That's cheating! How elitist of you. Oops. Um... Okay. Now if you trip and drop your controller on those keys. That's true. Then it would not be cheating, then it would be an honest, happy accident. Okay. Let's try it. It's rave time. I'm gonna lock in as McCall suggested. And when I lock in, I'm not locking out. She kind of looks like Anka, doesn't she? What? That hits me? Ooh. I'm getting trolled by the game. Whoa, okay. I got triple trolled. So that one, I should dodge. I didn't even fucking see the animation for that. But I played it. Okay. Phase two, what do we got? Oh god, what is this? Oh, what is... Okay, I thought that was just gonna be continuous for the entire fight. What the fuck? Okay, I see. So she just throws shit at me, like, constantly. In that fight. Interesting. Nice music, yes. I think all the boss fights have had nice music. And pretty distinct, too. Okay. I'm ready to go.
I'm locked. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm unlocked. I shouldn't say I'm locked in before I actually lock in. It just kind of makes myself look like a fool. Unlock in? Okay. Yeah, maybe it's reverse psychology. I'm locked in. Bro's mind is on fishing and runescape. Actually, I'm already 99 fishing. I don't need to think about that ever again. I'm getting 99 runecrafting this week, probably on Friday. What's up, Nas? Doing woodcutting now, it's hell. Let's go. Woodcutting's my lowest stat, fun fact. I shouldn't have actually gotten that. I don't know why I did that. Like the part of the song where he goes, ya ha ha. I like the part where the song goes boom 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 What? I pressed the button. I pressed the button again. Oh wow, that fire lasts a long time. That fire just stays there, doesn't it? The fire just does not go away. I swear I press the button. Alright. What the fuck? What the What? What? No, too many particle effects. No, I'm confused. No, wait, wait, what? What? Okay, I need I need to mess with my charms. I need I need to select a good charm for this fight. Emissary says, for Halloween am I learning leaning on slutty cop or slutty priest? I was thinking about slutty Twitch streamer. How's that sound? I attack a lot, so honestly, this whole setup's pretty good. I don't even know if I would change anything. Except that I have, like, this free... I have this stupid free slot where all of the one pieces are, like, worthless, except for this one, which is too hard for me to really use. So... I I kind of want to take one of these three pieces off because then I get two two pieces. But what would I take? I would probably take the reduced knockback because this guy knocks back, back a lot with his attacks. The thing is, I feel like I'm getting a lot of damage out of this one and this one's been pretty good to me as well. I guess I should just experiment. I'll take the... I'll take these and see how that goes. We're going as a slutty lumberjack. Hell yeah, that's the true woodcutting spirit. And I use a hard charm, even if I don't necessarily try to use it. I mean, I have to like remember to start. I have to remember to start holding the button. I have to start holding charge. It doesn't just like give me a fully charged melee attack. I have to be starting the charge in order for it to finish the charge. So I don't know. It's probably not that hard to use, but I don't know. We've been playing at Grimstone in UFO 50. Very nice. I have no idea what my Halloween costume is going to be this year. I'm sorry. I don't even know what my Halloween stream is going to look like. I've done Halloween streams two years in a row, and honestly, I've never really been satisfied with how they turned out. I didn't think they were too great. 
This guy gets heavily staggered by my shit. What? This guy missed. This guy missed again. I press the button, that's fine. Am I dressing up for Halloween stream? I usually do, yeah. For Halloween. I don't do anything, like, elaborate. I do, like, a really cheap, basic little thing. Or at least I have so far. What? Oh, wow. Okay, that's a waste of an arrow. Oh, fuck. Not ideal. To be Mega Man with my blue shirts. Ha ha ha. As if I have any blue shirts. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa! Dude. Damn. Stop! Wait, what? The snake powers. McCall was like, I didn't know being rich gave you snake powers. To be fair, it's not the richness that's giving her the snake powers, McCall. It's being an actor. Actors have magical powers. Could I hang up some decorations and make a scary punch bowl? I could. That would be kind of cute. I don't know how many people would be into that, but I mean, like into watching that. But I think it would be cute. Oi. Okay. Alrighty. Ah, oh, fuck me. I should probably hold that. Hold picking up that thing for a while. Okay. Fuck. Ah. I'm really bad at dodging that one in particular. Dude, I, and that one I don't really understand either, actually. Get out of the fire, please. What? Oh my god, I should not be dying to- Dude, that's so dumb. So... Okay. Oh my god, what am I doing? What? What? That's weird. I absolutely parried that. Ooh. The song. So here's what's here's what's tough about parrying him, is that it's the same problem where I really want to be grounded so that I can be spamming my trip my third hits on him. Because if I love the nuance in this game's combat, right? If you're in air, it's safer because you get omnidirectional parrying. But you don't get the triple hit combos, which means you don't get the third hits, which do a bunch of DPS. So I want to be on the ground because this guy is a big damage sponge so that I'm getting third hits on him. But his attacks are of such a wide range and they like sweep from such big directions behind him that I end up very often, the attacks usually end up coming from behind and then my, parrying's, my parries are failing because I'm on the ground and so... I'm only parrying forward and like not turning to parry behind myself. So I either need to be more conscious about parrying behind, like turning to parry behind myself, or I need to be more conscious about jumping into the air during when I attack during most of the fight and just losing the DPS. I don't know.
Also, Zorark, I don't think I could... I don't think I'd be legally allowed to go as Mega Man. Oh my god, see, that's exactly what we're talking about. When, uh, I've only played one Mega Man game in my life, you know what I mean? I think I would be a... I'm like, what am I doing? I think I would be a... poser. Yeah, okay. That that one I have to be more conscious about what I'm doing with it. What? What? Dude. See, it's so... It's not even obvious to me most of the time... Where the direction, what direction I should be facing in order to do the parry. Oh, fuck me. A Pac Man ghost and Pac Man ate the power up. That's me in real life. Dude, what the fuck? That sucks. Fushi is a god who created humanity with his sister wife, Nuwa. Usually they have snake traits. Okay. Well, we're seeing that Fushi and Nuwa are siblings and that Nuwa has snake traits. Although they don't create humanity. They haven't created humanity yet. Also, what's up, Pelb? How are you doing? Welcome in. Oh, fuck. I saw you were streaming some Rain World earlier, but I didn't have the opportunity to swing by. I hope you were having a good time. I'm thinking. Also, I did not end up getting that Super Arrow upgrade yet, because uh, it's apparently taking Quafu forever to make it. Wonder who Lady Ethereal was? Don't know her Chinese name? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a direct translation and like, her name is the Chinese word for ethereal. Or maybe it's just because she's supposed to be a play on Lady Butterfly from Sekiro. So I can hunt her chimney canopy for two hours. That sounds like chimney canopy to me. That is my average chimney canopy experience when I played that game. Yep. Sounds right. Is that your like first playthrough or first playthrough as Hunter? Or are you more f like, are you a rain world head? Also, Jackie. Thank you so much for the bread. And the Bezos box, very much appreciated. How are you doing? Bread. Dude. Where? First is Hunter, I see. Okay. Oh, I'm trolling. You are even today, Jackie. Don't even try to deny it. Dude, I... God. It's actually really tough. It's really tough. Like... But, like, which direction? I'm trying to figure out which direction I'm actually supposed to go in. I'm supposed to be facing in order to parry that sweep. Because it's coming from behind me. But, like, technically, the character is in front of me. So I don't know what the game considers to be. Ooh. Fuck me. I'm dead. See? Hmm, I think I have to turn behind. I don't even know. Yo, I love all those Joels in chat. Butterfly lives in a dream world is very similar to the famous story of dreaming you are a butterfly. I'm wondering if you are really a butterfly dreaming you are a man. Oh, I think I've heard of that at some point. 
Asheville, North Carolina, and the nicest city you've been to has mostly been flooded out by the hurricane. Oh shit, really? I've heard about Ash Asheville. It's supposedly a really nice place. So where I stay in the air 24-7? I was just having that conversation, Pelt, that if I stay in the air, then I get the omnidirectional parry, which is safer. But I feel like I really want to stay on the ground for the DPS, but maybe I should just stop reading for the DPS and just spend the whole fight in the air. It's probably safer. Just jump before each of his attacks and then parry. Actually, I guess that's, that's what I do. I just jump before his attacks. I'll just go to the air for the skull kick combos. Ooh. What? Focus. No! Okay. Get over here. Skull ball, not skull ball. No, please. Fuck. Let's take a heal, why not? What? I pressed the button! I pressed both buttons. Oh my god. I did it. What? That hit- oh, wow. Uh... Okay. Not ideal. Oh, this is fun. The final boss is brutal compared to it. I can't wait. I'm getting a Fushid. Yes. In the... Fuck. Okay, focus. Do the thing you said you would do. Uh, I don't like being stuck in the bully corner. Get me out of the bully corner. Okay. No, I... Ah! Heal, 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 heal. What? Where did it... What? That's so fair. They came in from off screen. They literally spawned in from off... Okay. Awesome. So, the camera tries to focus on having both uh, Fushi and me and Yi on the screen at the same time, which means that when the when the when Nuwa's needles spawned on the right side, they were out of the camera. Have to get my unbounded in for this fight? No, I refuse because you told me to. I will not do a single unbounded. We're doing unbounded bliss. Let's go. I swear I did that. Fuck. I pressed the button. I swear I pressed the button. Game sucks. Try parry. Who, the platypus? I don't even know that guy. He's just a platypus. How's he gonna help me beat a video game? I can do this. Okay, I can do this. Well, after your boss can still be up, you gotta check what you did. Yo, good luck. I think I, I can I can handle this. I can do this. I just have to remember to do a little bit of a hop before I press parry for like all of his attacks. And if I have that muscle memory down, I think I'll be fine. 
Our friends skip six hours. No, 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 no. This is easy mode. Check this out. What? What? Dude, that hitbox is fucky lucky. Okay. You got deleted, oh damn. It happens. Dude, oh my god. That timing? Timing to do that is actually pretty rough. Dude, not that stupid fire, dude. Dude. Oh, fuck me. I thought I was not. damage for free on the way out of phase one. Did not expect this weird ass boss arena, dude, it kicks so much ass. I love this game. Dude, ah! Where am I? Okay. No. No. No! Fucking Jesus. Okay, I'm fine. Unbounded list playthrough, baby. We're phase three? Let's find out. I don't think there's gonna be a phase three. They already showed the kill animation. Uh, wait! My brother was ugly the whole time? What have you done? Bushi! Oh no. I put so much effort into his makeup. His corpse is almost completely decayed. Before liftoff, was he already... Okay. So what? He'll be fully cured as long as he keeps getting his shots. Yeah, totally, man. Don't listen to him. New Kunlun has always done away with sickness, old age, and death. <laughs> we'll stay here together until the end of time. We promised as much. Once you get better, Fushi, let's go to the theater together. <laughs> Oh, man. She has bound feet, does she? Is that what the shoes mean? Crazy roaring to parry both the needles and unbounded. That's true. That would be pretty cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right.
Well, they all of eternity or whatever. I like how the party goes are still going in the background. I guess they said that they put some kind of like drugs in the food and drink or whatever. That's why they're all zonked out. Yeah, she got impaled when she hugged him. Like she's dead as fuck. thing in Chinese aristocratic women it used to be encouraged to do. Well, I've, I've heard of foot binding, but I didn't realize that her, that's, I mean, I don't know. It just looks like shoes to me. All right, let's get that sold. Let's learn the second half of their backstory. I guess this one is specifically about Bushi after the sickness started. Don't, Don't dwell on it. This isn't their fault, and it's definitely not yours. Three annoying pieces of homework to do for annoying for tomorrow? Yo. Homework sucks, but you gotta do it to grow up big and strong. Wait, what's this? Just as our clan's lead actress should be. I'm developing a new cure, but I can make an exception and let your brother try it out. Oh, like an experiment. Oh, so is the thing that's going on in this part of the town, like, the result of an experimental cure for the disease that's been killing everybody? I guess that's the idea, probably. Sad. He used to be hot, I know. Why, you're saying that form wasn't hot? Come on. His feelings emerge in a haze, but they deepen with each passing day. Takes have been terrible? What, that you have to do your homework to grow big and strong and because of bad take? Look at me, I did my homework and I'm big and strong, right? Gaming. Nua Soul Seal containing the character Gang signifies selflessness. Aww. Chan Hao Serum. Part of Nua's private collection, handed over to Abacus to assist with research on the Tian Hao mutations. Oh, I see. The serum is a restricted item from the research center, indicating it is out of reach of the ordinary people. So I guess this can help us explore the rest of this area. We require assistance. Chris Fushi was receiving some kind of treatment. We found some vials of blood serum in Nua's room. It might have something to do with the Tianhao mutants. That's great news. The researchers hit a bottleneck, so this new discovery might lead to a breakthrough. Can please bring it back to the Four Seasons Pavilion? Yes, sir. Did you get the island leveling bomb? No. Uh, I didn't. Oh god, they, they've already mutated into these things. Look at them go. These guys are still going though. Fucking Kwafu is taking his sweet ass time building it for me. He said he would build me a cool bomb out of it, and then he didn't. Or he still hasn't, I should say. He's still working on it. So I still can't go further past here? Yeah, not yet, anyway. Okay. Um... Sure. Let's go talk to what's his face then. And by what's his face, I of course mean my robot. And also everybody. Oh my god, there's flowers. Oh my god, wait. Our base is so pretty now. Who put all these flowers up? Wait a minute. These are the bad flowers, aren't they? No, surely these are the good flowers. What's up, Sean Sean? There's no more space on the floor. How about the shelf? Not enough room for all your stuff. I can make more room. Only just now realize how many interesting things you've taught me. 
Look at all the stuff you've brought me, too. And I thought you were just trying to brush me off. I didn't expect you to be so interested in Solarian affairs. It's fun. I didn't realize there was so much out there in your world to learn. But what I don't get is if Pengli was so interesting, why did you guys leave? We didn't want to leave. We got sick. We couldn't stay in Pengli anymore. Aww. Did they get any better after coming here? No. But just like with your book, if you don't read the last page, you won't need to fear a bad ending. Hmm. I've never read the ending of a story. I don't really want an ending. <laughs> Great. I've never read the ending of a story. It's pretty based. I would kill myself if I was sent back in time as a Han Chinese noble in the 18th century. No way you would get your feet crushed. Yeah. Seems pretty fucking bad. To be a woman in that place and period. Or really to be a woman in most places and periods. <laughs> but that one's particularly nasty. What's well, troubling you so deeply that even alcohol can't alleviate it? Nothing, just complicated feelings. People from the village have been coming to me asking me to make medicines and antidotes. What a pain in the ass. I'm not really the benevolent type. But they keep begging, so I always end up helping. Some old geezer brought me some newly made bedding to thank me. He also mended the holes in a few of my clothes. <clears throat> I'm not used to the other villagers treating me like this. They're treating you well. What's there to worry about? If I got along with those stupid villagers, what would the guru think of me? <laughs> Who cares about that person? You have no idea how frustrated she could get. She knew about everything and suspected that there was something going on in our village. No one believed her. They thought she had gone insane. One day she found a secret passage deep inside the Forbidden Cave. She said she was going to unveil the truth and impress everyone. I wanted to go along, but no matter what, she wouldn't let me. Uh. That was the last time I saw her. Hmm. Uh. Ignorant villagers started saying she was spirited away for her insolence. Before I knew it, we had already chosen a shaman for the village. They used the guru's story to intimidate everyone into following the rules. What a crock of shit. Mm. Hmm. Are you trying to find her? At first I did, but the more I witnessed, the less hope I had of her being alive. At least I got as far as here. The guru didn't teach me all those things in vain. I just need to get stronger. Maybe one day I won't have to rely on others. I wonder if we'll find her somewhere. I mean, I assume we'll find her somewhere, or at least her body. Forgot about the villagers, so I should check in on them. I was planning on checking in on them, yeah. I got them their, I got them their medicine to save that one kid. I'm going to go check in on everybody now that I've, uh, I guess I'm at eight souls now, aren't I? <laughs> aren't I at eight souls now? Okay. Let's, let's just talk to everyone. Forgot about all the villager stuff? Hell yeah. I like the ape men. Oh, uh, wait, you don't have anything to say to me? Two in a day? We need one day of milk. We actually have three today, because Fushi and Nua both had a soul with them. So I guess there's, even though there's nine souls, there's only like eight real soul boss fights. Mm. I don't know. The Enlightened Sanctum. Has it really become a dead city? That was the most important area of them all. We really shouldn't have handed over to the Feng Clan and their irresponsible heirs. They aren't the only ones responsible for this predicament. The Imperian District can't have fallen that easily. New Kunlin seems to harbor secrets hidden to even you and me. Hey, can you give me my bomb, man? There's ten souls in the council? Yeah, but like, aren't I one of them? I thought that was the idea. I thought I was one of the ten souls, and so I'm obviously not trying to kill myself. I already have my own seal, don't I? So I I assume I'm not my own boss fight. I don't I don't have to do a boss fight for my own soul, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I don't know. The return, my lord. Is this the blood serum? I shall begin the analysis right away. Mm -hmm. okay. Lord Li, Yi, Lord Kwafu, I have completed my analysis on the blood serum. I must say that the results are full of twists, turns, and some unexpected developments. Okay. 
Instead of being an antidote to the Tianhuo, it has instead changes its form. It's basically a catalyst for the continued mutation of Tianhuo. Mm. Is that why they all turned into monsters? Mutant's condition itself is also infectious, so I can't confirm the exact number of those that were infected through that vector. Required, I can give an estimate using simulations. I don't think that matters. Who would deliberately do such a tedious thing? Who has done the most research on the Tianhuo? Who has the technology to do this? The answer is obvious. Oh? Ai Gong. Doesn't seem like something she would do. Why? Who knows? But I'll be hearing from her soon. Abacus, can you find a way to eliminate these living corpses? They keep regenerating. That subject, I have good and bad news. Let's start with the good news. Good news is we have indeed discovered their weakness. We know the genetic sequence responsible for their regeneration. We can permanently destroy it. Bad news is that these mutants are an amalgamation of different genetic sources, making it impossible to trace the origi original genetic sequence. Okay, so we need to find the original cells. Cells were obtained from a solarian, one that ages very slowly. Oh, I have the hair. Like the imprisoned Kong Li. Oh. It could be the imprisoned Kong Li, but it's probably fucking the Ji's hair that we have as a key item. Neither Kong Li nor Yi's genetics correspond. Okay. This is Ji's hair. Analyze it. These might be the cells we've been looking for. Right, we did see in the flashback, we saw Igong take some samples from uh, Xi, so that makes sense. Okay. As you have predicted, Lord Yi, Xi's cells in the regenerating gene sequence from the Tianhuo mutant form a 99.97% match. Okay. Based on this data, I've successfully discovered a way to break into their mutant cores. I've designed a special device, and now, as long as you add it to your talisman system, these monsters will no longer be an obstacle to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Weight functions is simple, and the materials are already available. The work to make it required to make it is extremely complex. It should only be attempted by an exceptional craftsman familiar with basic mechanical principles. Uh. Okay. okay. I have to buy it from Tanhyao, in other words. But G after Fushi and Nua, that makes okay. So, if you right, they did say that you have the option to do them in either order, and then you would have to get the other one in order to get the hair. Let's get this on you, Super Mutant Buster. <laughs> it looks like a okay. Special device designed by Abacus and modified by Quafu. Its name demonstrates Quafu's unique taste. Fully integrated into Yi's talisman system, this device triggers automatically upon talisman's detonation. Sure. Might look simple, but parts of it were really tricky to make. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I help too. Sure, kid. You two have been getting along pretty well. You're imagining things. We're fundamentally different beings. An ape man will only be ape man. But let's not get sidetracked. Oh, whatever, man. Okay. I can also help with the living corpses thing, ye. I don't know about that. Bafu is a Fallout gamer? Yeah. He really is. He gave me my Pip Boy. Okay. I kind of want to not run off back to the Imperium District right now. I think I want to spend the last half hour of stream milking and doing some other additional exploration. Is the last council member a woman? Yes, Igong, my mentor and the leader of the council, I think. I'm pretty sure she's a woman. Why haven't I seen a Solarian? That's my age. Doesn't your tribe have any kids yet? They're all in hibernation. Uh... Only thing is, will they like me? Uh, probably not. You're very likable, unlike when I was a kid. If you get the chance, I'm sure you'll fi uh, get along with them fine. If you get the chance. I shouldn't kill her. My species it seems to be down to two guys and her. No, we have a bunch of people in hibernation. We're just the only ones who are awake. That's the idea. They put everyone in stasis to slow down the disease that's killing everyone. And I guess we were, the council was like, stayed awake in order to try to find a cure, I think was the idea. Or something. Or for their own independent reasons. Um, let's check in with the eight people and see what they're doing. 
You know, the hibernating people kill themselves and they're unplugged from the matrix. So there is that problem. Some of the some of the problem is that the, some of the people killed themselves coming out of the matrix. Some of the problem is that some of them that were in the Empyrean district got mutated and turned to zombies. But despite that, there are still there is still a stable population of like non suicidal non zombie Salarians um, somewhere. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I don't see any new I don't see any new quests or anything. Have you guys expanded further into the dock? No. Okay. I will go and exploring. Just as soon as I double check. Yeah, the eight people are hanging out. Lay sigh. Um Wordle? No, not Wordle. Exploring! Come on. You guys like to explore in video games, right? There's a couple areas that I've like hardly touched. They don't fully cover a lot of lore in this game. I feel like the game is like 40% covering lore. What do you mean? There's like so much talking and dialogue and everything. Um... There's this one, the inner warehouse I hardly touched. I need to get up and crack my back. Hold on. Let's see if we can hear this on my... Oh, let's go. It's the most dialogue every game I've ever played, Rune Terra. Well, do you count games that are only dialogue and, like, don't actually have gameplay outside of just being, like, a story game? Like, you know, Night in the Woods or Disco Elysium or something like that? Because th those would be, I mean, those games that are pure dialogue, right? The most dialogue. As in, like, the most unique lines of dialogue? It would probably be Disco Elysium. But I don't really know the counts. Yeah, I haven't explored. Every there's apparently even a... I think that symbol means there's a boss fight in here that I've missed. Oh, hey. And I'm two out of three on robots. They don't cover... Where's all my money? Why don't I have money? Did I lose my money? Oh, I did at some point, didn't I? Damn. They didn't cover humans or the mentor unless you do the three door thing, you get jack shit on Lear. Well, I th I think they've done given a fair amount of background on the humans so far, but I'm I'm not done with the game yet, so don't tell me anything. You're not done the boss in this area? I've not done like the side boss. Oh, hello. Like I said, I've hardly explored this area. I've I've killed like the the boss that gives soul the soul, obviously. Um. Hmm. What is the dealio over here? I'm probably supposed to come from the other side, I suppose. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay. Let's try going from this side. Oh. Right, I remember doing this. And being... Okay, so there's apparently somewhere to go above here. How do I go up? Oh. Gaming? Huge. Okay, no wonder I didn't get that last time. Let me get the shortcut. Oops. Gaming? I like that Canada Goose. I agree. The Canada Goose guy was very cool. Have to go the way of the goose and leave. Is, is that the way of the goose? I guess they do migrate, if that's what you mean. Oh, 
lore. Dusk Guardian Recording Device 3. The deceased was an active Dusk Guardian who had been missing for several hours. He had a mental breakdown when we arrived, so in order to prevent further injuries, we executed them. My hands are still shaking, but I can't back down. I'm already on my fourth round of duty. We must complete tasks like this to repay the souls for saving us. This guy was in a really bad mental state. He kept making weird, undiscernible noises. Weirdly, even though the system said they could bite us, I only ever saw it hiding away from us. Also, has the recycling team gotten lazy lately? They haven't come to clean up some of the corpses we reported. Oh my. Not good. Okay. Aha! Um, I could kind of expect there to be more than just a third robot here, but that must be one epic chest that I just unlocked then. That's got to be really cool. Um, I guess I can't even go this way. Normal component? No way. No way is it a standard component in there. I will scream at the top of my lungs. Do, 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 do. Um, down, down. Okay, give it to me. Money and... Oh, an herb catalyst. Okay, I mean, that is good. I won't complain about the herb catalyst. That is a good thing to get. And what is this then? Something? Which lets me get up there, okay. Gimme, gimme. I wonder what the trigger is going to be to get uh, Kwafu to make me that super weapon that I gave him a while ago. I figure there has to be some... Oh! Oh, this is the boss fight that I'm missing. Oh god, not one of you. Please. No. Oh no! I have to... Wait! Okay, I need to destroy this first. <laughs> Oh, wait. Okay, it's actually really weak. I am overleveled for this part of the game, as it turns out. Firestorm Ring. Weapon taken from a guard. Interesting. Release a pulse of energy upon contact, shattering and rent. Oh, this is pro this is an item I can- an another, another arrow that I can give to- uh, what's his face that I must have missed before? Okay. Um, well, it looks like I'm still missing a chest somewhere. I guess I'll check the rest of this and try to see where that chest is. Maybe he, maybe he's not making me the super weapon because I didn't unlock all the other arrows yet first. Maybe that's why I couldn't do it or something like that. That would sort of make sense to me. He didn't beat this guy. Oh. Nice. Good job. <laughs> I'm sure the weapon that I get is going to be really cool. You missed so much shit. I mean, it's a big game. It's quite reasonable to miss stuff in a game this large. Um, I've been down there, right? Yeah, apparently. But have I gotten everything from down here? Y 
Yeah, apparently. But Huh. Weird. I don't know where the other chest is gonna be. I kind of don't really want to run around to find out. <laughs> the diagonal lift thing, that's the... That's how we proceeded to down into the next area. I guess I'll check this part, because I haven't double-checked this area yet. Ow. Something down here. I've already been in here, right? I must have. I must have done this. I don't remember what it is. Yes, I remember doing this. This is already... Yeah, this is already opened. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Getting out of here is... Oh, can I do it? Oh, uh, do I have to reverse the things? I think I have to reverse the things in order to get out. That's not that bad, actually. I don't know why I was complaining. What? I got squished! The game squished me. Uh, I don't know if I want to run around the whole area to try to find the one chest that I'm missing. That sounds lame. I would rather check out... Um... Well, hold on. Yeah, I have no idea what's missing. Let's go instead to... To, 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 to... Um... Well, first of the... Fuck. First of the bonfire. I want to go back to the factory. I ran through the factory very early in the game, and I couldn't do anything yet there, but I think there's some stuff available to me if, if I had a double jump. Um, now that I do I have a double jump, I want to see what's there. I literally have just never been back. Could be that's where Igong is, but I kind of doubt it. I think it's more likely that Igong is, um... Oh, I never got a... Hold on. I never got the bonfire in there, so I have to go check where a good teleport would be. Is it this one? This one's not bad. This one's probably better than this one. It's interesting because I don't think Igong is going to be in here because it, the, the, the way that they're talking about it makes it seem like I need to get through the Imperium District with the new things that I got in order to get to Igong. So this seems like an entirely optional uh, area that like doesn't have a soul in it, is what that would mean. But maybe it has to do with some other something to do with, I don't know, something other part of the story outside of getting all the souls. It's also possible the game just doesn't end after I get all nine souls. Could be there's another section afterwards. Which area? Here. Factory. We shall see. I should be way over level for this area too, compared to the last time I was here. Oh, wait, no, because. Wait, yes. Dude, hello? Right, I can break this now, which I couldn't do before. So this could actually then. Oh my god. This could conceivably... Oh, I don't have anything to carry to talisman him with.
This could conceivably be where Igong is, I guess, because I needed, um... ...to have the ability to blow up these guys in order to get into this area. Oh my god. We'll see. God, those explosions are large. <laughs> Down. Up. Okay, wait, this area is actually huge. Uh, I guess if this is the research center, this actually probably is where Igong is, isn't it? Hmm. Now I'm kind of want to go back to the Imperium District instead, because I'm worried this is where Igong is. Oh well. Passenger token Aimu. What the hell? Token carried by Solarium is used for identification and as a voyage log. Can be recycled at the 3D printer? I don't want to do that. Today is my 25th day on New Kunlun. Are you all doing well, my masters? With all the rumors and conspiracies flying around, I believe it's my responsibility as a streamer? And one of the chosen, to let the world see the truth. I hope everything will get better once we wake up from hibernations. I will continue to keep you all in my thoughts and dreams. Why is she calling her viewers my masters? It's you for real? Ro, McCall, you do not call your viewers your masters. Should I start doing that? Should I start saying, open every stream by saying, how's it going, my masters? Who <laughs> will? Get different passengers' tokens. I only got one. He was in a very different mood. That would make sense. Also, hey, Dronin. The writing displeases you, my master? Listen, I never said anything about being displeased. <laughs> How are you, Dronin? Boar? Someone was getting experimented on here. Dust Guardian recording device six. Taking my senior officer to Ascension Palace. He already finished his Dust Guardian service and was eligible to be discharged for hibernation. However, what appeared before us wasn't a hibernation machine, it was a killing machine. I saw all the others who had been discharged there. Some turned into monsters, and those that didn't were just being kept as experimental subjects. Was there no hope to begin with? We used all our strength to escape here, but now my senior officer is injured and all the medical equipment here is broken. How did it come to this? How did it come? Oh my fucking lord, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? That is like a human centipede, except it's a solarian centipede. Horrendous. Awful. I hate it. The creeper crawler. You're sleepy? I would imagine so. Isn't it pretty late for you? Not that I'm your mom or anything. Does this go up or down? Oh, I think it just goes down there. It's just a shortcut. Whoa, okay. I hate you. I... Oh, lord. Thank god I still have that equipped. The revive equipped. I... Uh... Okay. Hello? Interesting. Certainly something to do there. I wonder if I can just slap a talisman on that. Um... Yes. Oh, guy. Hello. Why are you spawning? Are you respawning because I need to parry you in order to get up here? Are you respawning to, like, help me do the platforming? Ooh, I bet you are. Hold on. Check this out.
There's a hole in the roof? Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. Damn it. Oh, maybe not. Whenever you pause, you got a 30 second ad? Yo, it ain't my fault. I don't play ads. That's just Twitch. That's just Twitch being Twitch. Happened three times now. My doctor's recommendation is to stop pausing. Hmm, I don't think this is quite what they had in mind. Although, it, I don't know, it kind of feels like it. Because that's the only enemy in the entire game that's respawned. Weird. Oh well. I, well, hmm, hmm. I will worry about that later. Oh hey, bonfire. Yee, can you hear me? There's something I felt was off when I woke up, but we never had the chance to talk about it. Uh. We know about the Dust Guardians. I don't know much, but I've seen them mentioned in some documents. Oh, lore about these things I've been reading all over the place. Wait, Drunden, were you saying there's a hole in your roof, or were you making a comment about the video game? I don't know if you're still awake. Were you saying you, there's a hole in your roof? The Dust Guardians are staff responsible for maintaining all operations in New Kunlun. For the past 500 years, while the Solarian passengers slept, they worked to ensure that everything kept functioning. I thought the systems were fully automated. Flying solely in automated systems comes with risks. Since you were in charge of developing the autonomous systems, Igong was worried you might have tampered with it. After you were out of the picture, she greatly limited the scope and clearance for all high intelligence systems, including Abacus. She then personally recruited the Dust Guardians, which report directly to her. Okay. How have these Dust Guardians stayed alive for so long? Have they been genetically modified like Chi? No, they're Solarians. It goes without saying, they were also infected by the virus. Aiyang's strategy seems to be to use them in shifts which prolong their lives. The weird thing is, when I woke up, I couldn't contact a single Dust Guardian. It's like the entire organization had evaporated into thin air. Hmm. But the mut mutants have something to do with why the Dust Guardians vanished. I don't know, but they were effectively Igong's personal guards, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were conducting shady activities. Headquarters inside the research center, you might dig something up there. The research center? Okay. Gotta run for a bit? Yo, not a problem, pal. I'm actually done with streaming like five minutes or so, but I'll, I'll mess around a little longer. Also, thank you for all those brungies, but... And thank you for the energy badges. Oh, where the creepy pink thing was on the ceiling on the map. Uh... True. Wait. Yes. I've been trying to get over there. I, I needed to do, like, the weird hop in order to get up to that hole on the map. Overworking? There's actually a considerable argument to be made that I should... just end stream now? But, uh, where's the fun in that? Oh my god, please. Oh wait, this sends me all the way back here, though. Four more minutes, lock in. Okay, I gotcha. The people have spoken. They demand four more minutes. Elevator that I have now unlocked. It goes right back down. Okay. Interesting. I wonder where the robot is for this place. That gives me the map, I mean, the map robot. Oh, god damn it. How do I get in there? How do I get in there? That's a good question. Oh my god. Not like this. This is how I die. Hold on. Wait.
Oh! Oh, the explosion from the robot cleared this. I did that by accident. Oh wait, that's awesome. <laughs> Standard component. No fucking shot. Standard component. Okay, fine. Fine. Awesome. Also, yeah, I guess the enemies just respawn in this area. Which is odd. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, how do I get back up there? Please! Wait, how do I get back up there? Take me up to on the elevator. Dude. Fuck! Ah. Ah. Okay, I actually see a lot of stuff to do here, but I think I'm going to... Elevator top right. You know what? This is a good point. I am an elevator. If I just believe hard enough, I can be my own elevator. Hey, well, thank you for stream. Yo, thank you for checking in, Dronin. I, speaking of the stream, should really take my leave at this point. We're at a rest node. I think I'm going to explore the rest of the factory. It sounds like this isn't just going to be where Igong is, so this won't just be the end of the game. So we'll be checking out what's going on here tomorrow. We made a lot more progress today than I expected to. Um, let me go raid over... I think I'm going to be raiding Nebby today. Nebby is playing Fury, which I really like. One of my favorite games. And also a parry-type game. Also a game that features parry. Came back to the end. Yeah, well, it is my time, Pelb. I do, I do gotta, I do gotta be doing that thing. Base or plans. I know how you feel, Drone, and I have to get up at 6.30 tomorrow. But yeah, so I made a lot more progress than I thought today. I got three souls in one day. So game could be over probably not tomorrow, but maybe tomorrow. Have a good night, Pelb. Have a good night, McCall. Have a good night, Rabbit and Dronin and Ironhawk and Butt. Say hi to Nebby for me. Stay by for some Fury if you enjoy that game. And uh, have a good night. Have a good Monday. Eat all your lasagna, be a Garfield, etc. Bye-bye.